Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. The Strongest Royal Group. From the Great Voyage. Chapter 81. Slaughterhouse. Lin activated the op-op fruit ability, originally only wanted to move the two of them outside the boat. But after easily moving hundreds of meters away from the Ark Proverbs, he suddenly realized, since Acetus does not have armament hockey body protection, he must not be able to resist his op-op fruit ability. So, he wanted to give Acedes a surprise, cut her in half or something to scare her. However, as soon as he saw the trick, Acetus's fighting reaction immediately responded, and the power of freezing broke out. I saw a circle of silver-white cold air swaying from her body, and silver frost and black ice suddenly appeared everywhere. This is a super explosion. The ultra-low temperature experienced from Aokiji, Lin faced it again. This kind of ultra-low temperature cold air that can faintly affect the operation of the law of heaven and earth, since it made his operating space show some signs of collapse. This, 877, is already close to the awakening level of freezing power. Lin squinted her eyes, a shave teleported over, and then there was a full-level armament hockey's entangled punch. Boom. Acedes did not confront with a fist, but stretched out his hand, causing a huge sharp icicle to form in front of him, stabbing at Lin's punch. However, judging from her corresponding strength and reaction, she obviously underestimated Lin's speed and power zone. So Lin's punch not only shattered the huge ice that was urging her to transform, but also sent her flying, making her almost breathless in her chest, making her feel very depressed and uncomfortable. Hiss. Such a ferocious force. Acedes's physical strength is not bad. When she was very young, she dared to go out alone to hunt and kill dangerous species, and even captured them alive. Come. Even though she is not as perverted as the body-refining powerhouse here, she can still be considered strong. However, in front of Lin today, she felt experienced. Lin is not only stronger than her, but also faster than her. She's overwhelmed by Lin in every way. If it weren't for the essence of demons, I might not be your opponent. Acetus's beautiful eyes flashed an ice-like evil spirit, but there was also a trace of long-lost enthusiasm rising. Next, her taigu is going to be fully fired. Lin's strength also made her blood boil. It's been a long time since I've met an equal opponent. It seems that this world is really as he said, there are strong people like clouds, and it is better to be stronger than me. While thinking about it, Acetus demon essence activated. Essence of demon's pale mouth. In just an instant, Acetes condensed hundreds of extremely sharp ice thorns in the air. These ice thorns, under the power of the devil's essence, each one is like a fine steel long knife. Whoosh whoosh. The launching of hundreds of sharp ice thorns is like a white torrential rain. There's no room for Lin to hide. Whether it's slashing or tempest kick, it's hard to be watertight. However, Lin made a move that surprised Acedes. He doesn't dodge or dodge, relying on iron body and armament hockey covering the whole body, he insists on this move. Boom bang bang bang. No ice spike can break his maxed armament hockey armor. Not to mention the full level iron body inside. Lin's physical defense strength at this moment can be ranked in the top 6 in the pirate world. Your demon essence may be the strongest in your world, but here, it's not. Except for the two hidden skills of Mahapadmo and Binglan Admiral Army, don't show off the others. Lin yelled loudly, rushing forward, straight to the front of Acedes. Boom. However, what greeted him was a gigantic hockey puck. Essence of Demon's Origin Hail. This is a very powerful ultimate move of Acedes. From the perspective of the size of the hailstone, it is not inferior to the large meteorite summoned by the monster Uchiha Madara in the Hokage world. At this time, Acedes, when the hail of origin was formed, turned around twice, gracefully like a dancing elf, flashed behind the hail of origin in an instant, and then suddenly clicked. Boom. The hailstone of origin accelerated and hit Lin who was rushing hard. This is the quintessence of the devil, the release of skills is too fast. Such a big move can be released directly without storing energy. Lin is a bit outrageous. However, let him be impressively still behind. Acetus was on it, and unexpectedly released another hailstone of origin that was two or three times bigger. It's literally a duplicate of Uchiha Madara's Rinnegan occult, Tengai Shinsei. And with a much stronger damage range. Are you going to bury my boat? The last origin hailstone has a diameter of more than a thousand. 
If it falls suddenly like this, if the proverbs of the ark more than a thousand meters away does not fly up, it might be overturned by the huge waves. As for the girls on the ark proverbs, because of the loud noise, they all ran out to watch the excitement when the first hailstone of origin appeared, all screaming loudly. Some even took out their cameras and took pictures on the spot. Then, they discovered that their own captain was among them. When did this captain, who went back to his room and shut himself off, run outside? Moreover, he is still fighting with such a beautiful and romantic beauty. This stinky captain is entangled with other women again. What a scumbag. E.H. It seems that I can't consume his energy at all. When we were in Sky Island, everyone was pretty much the same. Lin, I was wrong, I underestimated you. Tsunade, who had just changed into new clothes in his room, spat secretly with a bit of resentment, wondering if he should let go a little more next time. However, when the second, larger hailstone with a diameter of more than 1,000 meters appeared, the women realized that the problem was serious. Wow. No way. Demeter. Feng Yin Rehe quickly transforms. Tsunade also covers armament hockey with both fists, ready to shoot. And Ma Yin's pumpkin cannon is gathering energy, ready to launch a 0.5 thunder strike. However, the next moment, when Ma Yin found out who was fighting Lin, she was suddenly stunned. No. How could it be her? Impossible. She even subconsciously pointed the muzzle of the pumpkin cannon at a seeds. At this time, clang. Lin pulled out the fine steel long sword, and the power and armament hockey surged in, causing the whole long sword to clang and clang, resounding throughout the sky. Zero. Then, he cut out Ultimate's sword. Crack. The black sword light rose suddenly, piercing the sky, bringing a clear and loud cracking sound, and the two extremely huge hailstones of origin that overlapped and fell were cut in half by this unparalleled sword light. Boom boom boom. And in the next second, the sword chi erupting vertically and horizontally cut the two huge ice balls into pieces, and they fell like ice rain. This is a slash. How could it be so strong? Even as Seeds was taken aback by this sword. Hail of Origin casts a spell quickly, catching Lin off guard. Of course, that's because Lin's speed is too fast, and she didn't think she could hit Lin, so she used a lot of original power to make the second Origin hailstone so huge that it could affect the ship next to it. This is also the reason why Lin had to accept this superimposed big move. Unexpectedly, Lin's toughness has subverted her cognition. With just one sword strike, she broke through the stacking moves she was so proud of. Lin. Funny, you're so funny. Aseeds yelled hysterically. At this time, she has entered a state of a little madness. She also drew her sword. Beat me. Be my captain, even my master. Aseeds was covered in a surge of cold air, and the silver-white cold air continued to overflow, turning the sky into an icy field. With her full abilities, she can easily stay in the air and even fly with only the frost particles in the air. She continued generously. Since I got Taigu 14, the essence of the devil, I have experienced more than a hundred battles, but I, as seeds, have never lost. Not even a decent general. As long as you can defeat me today, not to mention being your obedient crew member, I can give you my whole body and let you manipulate it as you want. Asidus's face was full of crazy excitement, and he even twisted slightly. However, the strange thing is that despite this, her beautiful appearance in the eyes of everyone is not discounted, but has an inexplicable wild taste, which adds another layer of charm to her. Aseeds, it's too easy to defeat you, let me use the simplest trick to make you surrender completely. Ten meters in front of Aseeds, Lin stood with a sword in his hand, smiling at Kaido. Then, Lin looked at Aseeds' eyes, and suddenly opened them. In an instant, Aseeds felt as if his heart had been slammed by an unknown force. Boom. This wave of heavy hammers put her whole body into a crash state in an instant. At the same time, there was also an inexplicable dull sound in the entire sky, like thunder walking, shaking the world in anger. Oh no. It is true that thunder has appeared. The little black and red thunder spread from in front of Lin to Aseeds. Lin's full-level conqueror's hockey has opened up. But Lin held back and didn't go all out. He was afraid that Asidus lacked spiritual strength, so he couldn't resist his own conqueror's hockey attack that locked on the individual. Yes, Lin's conqueror's hockey, at this time is locked to ace day blast. 
In just an instant, the conqueror's hockey swept out like a golden torrent, submerging Asid's. An unprecedented sense of crisis arose in Asid's heart, making her pull out from the state of trance just now, and without the slightest hesitation, immediately launch the ultimate demonic stunt, Mahapadma. Mahabadama is one of Asid's best skills. Once used, frees a piece of time and space for at least a time. However, she did not have this opportunity. Lin's powerful conqueror's hockey, ignoring all the defenses she built, directly shook her spirit and heart, causing her eyes to go black immediately, and she fell from the sky. Snapped. Asidus didn't wake up in time until he fell into the sea. It seems that she was really caught by Lin's concentrated conqueror's hockey attack. Room baton. Lin stretched hundreds of meters of operating space, and volleyed to ingest the unlucky guy. Lin won't go down and pick her up with her own hands, who knows if she will cheat herself. This battle is related to who will stand up and become the master and the boss in the future, so it is better for him to be more cautious. Wow. Asides, who was completely wet, was quickly picked up by him and brought back to the boat. Lin, who is she? Tsunade has rolled up his sleeves, the veins on his forehead are visibly pulsating. If Lin gives a bad answer, she may be rude. Just 10 minutes ago, you had a 300 round fight on the bed with your old lady, and you talked a lot about love. And 10 minutes later, you beat another woman to death, and even knocked her out and brought her back to plot against you. Scumbag, you are too much. Brother Lin, she. Who is she? Even Feng Yin Rehe looked at Lin eagerly. With the continuous boarding of all kinds of beautiful crew members, even if she only has Lin in her heart and doesn't care too much, she is still a little anxious and troubled right now. Wu. Irina didn't seem to be able to accept it either, and imitated the usual Ma Yin and started humming. And Ma Yin is even more direct. Lin, give her to me, let me deal with her. Please. No. Lin said no. However. Please Lin. As long as you agree to my request, I will be at your service forever. I will never return to my world. 500. Plop. Ma Yin actually knelt down for Lin on the spot. If Lin hadn't helped her up quickly, she might have kowtowed in the next step depending on her posture. Ma Yin, what are you? Suddenly, a light flashed in Lin's mind, and the surprise turned into astonishment, and then became clear. I go. Forgot this one. It was also at this time that Lin remembered. Ma Yin is a night attack killer in Zonkai world. And the killer organization Night Attack is exactly a secret force established by the Revolutionary Army to overthrow the Imperial rule. Asides, is the peerless Admiral Army supporting the Empire in the last days. Once Asides, the number one general of the Empire, is killed, the collapse of the Empire will be accelerated. It will be much easier to attack the Imperial capital. Let's put it this way. As long as Asides is dead, the revolutionary army will dare to attack the imperial capital directly and change the dynasty. Lin, I'd give my life for another. Please. Ma Yin still did not stop her pleading. But Lin obviously rejected her. No, she is our partner now, not the strongest general in the empire anymore. Lin, do you know what you're doing? This woman is a demonic executioner who killed millions of people. Ma Yin was very excited and angry, her little face turned red. Of course I know. Lin was calm. Lin Yu. Main is furious. As I told you before. I, Lin, will change your future, change the ending of the night attack, and make the decaying empire a dust of history. As for Asides, now he has become my friend. Our little partner is a combatant. In the future, we must help each other, and we cannot fight and kill. Lin reached out and touched her little head to comfort her, making her blush, and then stretched out her hand to open it. Humph. No matter what you say, I, Ma Yin, will never let her go. If she doesn't die, our night attack, and even the revolutionary army may be destroyed by her hands. Lin, you are far from I know the power of the empire, and I don't understand Asid's loyalty to the empire. Although Lin stopped and knew that Asid's was a new addition to the crew, Main still did not give up. She knew all too well the horrors of Asidus. Once Asid single-handedly wiped out a country in the blink of an eye. Therefore, the empire also has such rumors. Asid's is not dead, the empire should not. I know what you want to do. But limited to the agreement, you can't kill her. Lin sighed. As long as the agreement is signed, this ship will be one of our own, and there will naturally be a clause that prohibits mutual harm. 
HMPH. Even if I can't kill her, I won't make her feel better. Maine was a little discouraged. And, she also said Lin well. And to start, kind of accept reality. Perhaps, Acedes, who is his partner, will no longer be the general of the empire. Will something change? But at this time, room, Mahapadma. Two low groans exploded at the same time. What followed was that the clear light and the light blue light were intertwined thousands of times in an instant, and the powers represented by the two kinds of light were infecting each other, forming a strange space suddenly, covering the entire arc motto. Interesting. You are so interesting Lin. Acetus actually woke up. She was able to subdue the essence of demons that made many powerful people crazy, and her spirit was naturally strong. In addition, Lin kept her hands, so it was normal to wake up. Mahapadma. Taigu's secret technique that can freeze time and space. Too bad Acetus didn't catch Lin. Lin actually ran away first. She could sense Lin's breath, already two or three hundred meters away. There is also the space there, it seems that the frozen power of Mahapadma seems to be a little unstable. Shen Qi's spatial ability. It's really an eye-opener. Acedes touched Ma Yin's small face with his hand, and shook his head. Such a cute girl, why did she join such a boring revolutionary army? Wow, all of them are peerless beauties, my master, it seems that you, like me, are a person with a strong desire to conquer. She looked around and sighed. Gala clang. A slight abnormal sound came from not far away, making her look curiously and let out a, huh. It turned out that Feng Yin Rehe's body was flowing in bright light, and he didn't know what was happening. But one thing is certain. The frozen time and space around her became a little unstable. Another fun little guy. It seems that I am in the right world. Acid's eyes widened in surprise, and he wanted to reach out to touch Feng Yin Rehe. And the next second, she seemed to sense something, and laughed. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding, my dear master, don't be angry. Then she snapped her fingers to remove the power of Mahapadma. What nonsense. But I'm very interested in your secret skill. Let's discuss it together when we have time. The next moment, Lin returned to the original place, as if she hadn't moved. Just now, Mahabhatama vs. Surgery Space, engaged in some space competition, involving the laws of this world, allowing Lin to gain some experience in this area that she has never had before. So, he also got a little excited. This Asidus is really an existence that people love and hate. You lackey of the empire, die. As soon as Mahabhatama was released, Maine set up a pumpkin cannon to bombard a seeds. You rascal, it looks like you haven't been beaten before. Even Tsunade couldn't help it. Anyone who is frozen in time and space, like a lamb waiting to be slaughtered, will not be happy. If it wasn't for Lin's follow-up of Yin Raihazai, which made Mahapadmo appear unstable, I'm afraid they might not be able to realize that they were frozen. Fortunately, Lin took a lot of effort and finally calmed them all down. Lin, I listen to you, by the way, should I wear a collar and officially become your prisoner? Let you have a pleasant training. If you don't like it, you can also choose as to have a normal but vigorous love. But Asides looked like a little girl, hugging his arm, very affectionate. She accepted the defeat just now, and was willing to take the bet and let Lin be her master. Let's talk about this later. Under the eyes of the women who were about to kill, Lin was a little scared. Don't talk about others, just look at Tsunade's expression, like a tigress who wants to eat people. Okay, let me formally introduce you, Acedes, our combatant. Lin gave them an introduction, but after the introduction, the atmosphere on the spot was a bit weird. It seems that in the future, don't think about having a peaceful day. Well, I wish I had known how to choose my king. Lin has a headache, but not without surprises. Just when Acedes released Mahapadmo just now, he actually activated Feng Yinri and another sleeping angel device in his body. Feng Yinrihe has two extremely powerful angelic weapons, Demeter Demeter, weather weapon, and Kadiro's time-space device. Right now, Feng Yinrihe's angel power has reached 48% under Lin's continuous strengthening. According to the system, when it reaches 60%, there is a chance to Jiao to activate a stronger and higher level space-time device. Unexpectedly, it was activated unexpectedly today. In this case, Lin can then use more points to strengthen Xiao Rehe. Lin currently has 50,000 points, which is very generous. 
In time, another admiral level combat power will inevitably rise. Thinking of this, Lin almost laughed out loud. Lin you come with me. After the atmosphere calmed down and Asidza's room was arranged and moved in, Tsunade dragged Lin to her room. It's not that good, is it? It's broad daylight, besides, do you still have the strength? Lin seemed to have guessed what she was going to do, and was a little speechless. When a woman gets jealous, she will really lose her mind. HMPH. I told you to go outside and bring the woman back. This time, you don't want to leave a single drop. At this time, Tsunade doesn't have the bearing of a princess from the Senju family. She is a tigress protecting her food. In front of the Gate of Justice, a marine warship is anchored a kilometer away. Smoker was smoking a big cigar, standing shoulder to shoulder with Abbott at the bow. At this moment, the two were looking up at the situation above the Gate of Justice. Because the workers who repaired the Gate of Justice have not been there for long, the repair work has just begun. So the two of them can still see the five characters, celestial dragons or dogs. Are you sure to continue the hunt? Apt reached out to take a big cigar, and lit it up to smoke. If you don't chase me, why don't you go back to East Blue? Besides, Naval Headquarters didn't order me to go back. Smoker frowned, and his words were obviously not as ambitious as before. Right now, he is really in a dilemma. If he goes back to East Blue for nothing like this, he will definitely be ridiculed mercilessly by some enemies. Moreover, the prestige that he had managed to build up in the Logue Town Marine Branch would also be destroyed. But as the hunt continued, it was obvious that he and Apt were no match for him at all. Not to mention Lin, even a few crew members, Smoker thinks he can't beat him. Who excavated armament hockey? It's horrible. 450 then, he complained about the inventor of armament hockey inexplicably. If there is no armament hockey, then he, who has the ability of Logia Devil Fruit, can easily run across the Grand Line, and Lin is nothing to worry about. About, I've decided, I'm going to the G5 branch of New World. After a while, Smoker finally made up his mind. Give up the pursuit of Lin for the time being, and go to New World to hone. Huh, are you out of your mind? Do you, Smoker, know where the G5 branch is? Abbott rested his forehead and was speechless. Marine is a branch of G5 in New World. This branch is not so much a branch of Marine, as it is the most wonderful existence in this world. All the members there were exiled there by the upper echelons of the Marine because they ignored discipline and acted according to their own will. These Marines have always acted brutally, sometimes even endangering the reputation of civilians. Their reputation is extremely bad, and it can be said that they are a branch of all villains. Even Naval Headquarters Marine Ford, the control of this branch, is often unable to do what it wants. That kind of place, who goes to a normal Marine? I know. Only that kind of place can, be, make me grow faster. Smoker's eyes turned fierce. To keep up with this Lin, the regiment has a chance to deal with him. Abbott sighed. I'm afraid this Lin will become your demon for the rest of your life. The capital of Seven Waters. The secret foothold of the news of the world. Wow. Big sister, during this period of time, we are responsible for the traffic of the newspaper. I have been nominated as a senior reporter candidate. It's great to be able to hang out with the boss. Meeting the boss is the greatest luck in my life, Laurent. Big sister, you should be able to be promoted from a special level candidate soon, right? Tisk tisk, our world news agency is so big, and there are only nine special level reporters. Yeah, I've also heard that our boss, Morgans, has already decided on the number of special reporters. There are at most 10. If the people behind want to be promoted, if they don't make amazing contributions, they have to wait for the 10 someone in my group has stepped back. I also heard that the treatment of a special reporter will be 10 times that of a senior reporter. There are also privileges provided by various newspapers, woo woo woo, I'm so envious of the boss. Things haven't been settled yet, so don't talk nonsense, I'm still a special candidate. Sibel's Gate of Justice trio are celebrating happily during the afternoon tea time. During this period, whether it was Lin sweeping the CPO, killing Eni's lobby, engraving the Gate of Justice, fighting Marine Admiral Aokiji, offering a reward of 1.3 billion. 
Each one is extremely explosive news, strongly promoting the sales of the world economic news, charging towards the peak of the redhead becoming the four emperors a few years ago, and even surpassing it. Therefore, in order to commend them, the President Morgans insisted on doubling their two-month bonuses by 20 times. Boo boo boo. The three of them were happily enjoying dessert when the phone bug on Sibel's body rang. Sibel took out the phone bug from her bag and was a little surprised when she saw that her boss, Morgans, was calling. Hello. President Morgans, hello. Sibel quickly connected to say hello. As the conversation continued, the two of Laurent could clearly see a look of ecstasy blooming on the face of their boss. After Sibel hung up the phone, the two of Urente carefully inquired about it. It's nothing, it's just that the president personally notified me, congratulating me on becoming a special reporter. Sibel said pretending to be calm. Boss, you are too strong. Big sister, you have to treat me to a big meal tonight. This is a special reporter. The two of Lent immediately stood up and shouted. It's okay to have a big meal. But after you finish eating, you need to pack up and follow Lin. The president gave us a new task this time. He hopes that we will follow Lin closely and not leave even one step. It is best to be on his ship. Be the reporter on his ship. As soon as Lin was mentioned, Sibel's eyes began to light up. Didn't Mr. Lin tell us? He doesn't seem to welcome us to go up. Look at what you said, where there is a will, there is a way. As long as our boss can handle Mr. Lin, everything will be fine. But I feel that Mr. Lin doesn't welcome us two men to come up. Hiss. It's very possible. After all, the crew on Mr. Lin's ship are all beautiful women. I'm going to envy and hate again. Then let's switch to logistics, and then find two beautiful girls to serve as subordinates for the eldest sister. This method works. Morning. In the restaurant of Arc Proverbs. It seems that the atmosphere is a bit awkward. But the most embarrassing thing was Lin with her mouth full of food and her bulging cheeks. However, Tsunade and Asides, who are holding his hand and feeding him, ignore this, and they are in a fierce competition both want to win the matter of feeding Lin. It's so miserable. It seems that the blessing of Chi Ren is not so good. HMPH. That's how a scumbag should end up. Hurry up and speed up to the Shura field. Ma Yin looked gloating. Secretly, she wished Tsunade would fight with Asides, and then she would find a chance to use the pumpkin cannon to give Asides a hard shot. Brother Lin. On the other hand, Feng Yin Rehe had a worried expression on his face. Hey. Let me tell you, don't waste my food, okay. Nakiri Arena couldn't take it anymore. Wow, come out and take a look, there is a lot of fog on the sea. It's so strange, the sky was clear just now, and the sun was fierce. Sibel's voice came from the front cab. Sibel came on board alone yesterday. Originally, all the women were basically against it, but because of Lin's insistence, there was no way. Therefore, Sibel is very interesting. When she gets on the ship, she is no longer a special reporter of the World News Agency, but the most diligent and restless maid of the Lin pirates. Right now, she even rushed to do the job of the helmsman so that everyone could have breakfast together. Strange fog. Hearing what she buyer said, Lin and the others were a little surprised, and hurried out to see what was going on. Wow, it really is. It's so white that you can't see it, what a thick fog. Sailing in the mist, it seems a bit romantic, yeah. Romance your head. If the boat hits the rocks we're game over. Feng Yin Rehe pulled the corner of Lin's clothes. Brother Lin, do you want me to create a storm and get rid of these zero chi? Lin seemed to think of something, and shook her head no need. If the guess is correct, my group should have arrived at the Devil's Triangle in the original book. Gecko Moria, Seven Warlords of the Sea, is hidden inside. The guy at the moment is hiding inside to accumulate his zombie army, plotting to dominate the One Piece. Gecko Moria's strength should belong to the bottom level in Seven Warlords of the Sea, similar to that of the Sand Crocodile, so Lin didn't regard him as a threat. But if Gecko Moria dares to mess with him, he really doesn't mind splitting his thriller bark in half. Besides, the Devil's Triangle is huge, and Lin doesn't think she's lucky enough to run into it. Sister Zybeyer, let me come. Go and have breakfast. Seeing that the sailing environment is a bit complicated, Feng Yin Rehe will immediately take over Sibel. What's the matter? Let's fly directly. Lin gave her a word. 
The most powerful part of Ark Proverbs is a spaceship specially built for flying. Although Enel still has some unfinished work on this spaceship, and the icebergs have not repaired it perfectly, but the flying ability can still last for a certain period of time. Even when flying, it will take a lot of effort to resist the lightning storm, and the protection of the hull is far less sturdy than those top quality ships of the Atom God Tree. Therefore, Lin and the others often choose to sail in the water. Um. Feng Yin Rehe nodded solemnly. At the same time, Lin also asked the girls to be vigilant and ready to respond quickly at any time. He didn't want any accidents to happen to his family's ship before entering the new world. In the cab. Hiyo, you can really bear it, that is seeds, who clings to our captain all day long, will eat up our captain sooner or later until there is no scum left. Ma Yin, who has, bad intentions, is accompanying Feng Yin Rehe who is at the helm. Sister Ma Yin, no matter what Brother Lin does, I will not object to it. Whatever he does is right for me. However, Feng Yin Rehe's answer made Ma Yin very upset. Oh my god, what age is this, and there are such submissive infatuation seeds. Hiori, a docile and well-behaved girl like you can't win her own happiness. You have to take the initiative. I'm really worried for you. Obviously you came first, you were the first to accompany the captain to start from scratch. Why did it become like this? It's not because you didn't fight. If you don't fight in the future, with the captain's scumbag virtue, there will be more and more women around him. By then, you may not even rank 10th with him. So, listen to me today, let's deal with that god Asidus together. This brat is too much. Ma Yin clenched her small fist and gritted her teeth. No matter how hard she tries, she will hit Asidus. Otherwise, I'm sorry for those comrades in the Revolutionary Army who died on the way to liberate the Empire. Huh. Sister Ma Yin, it seems that there are ships approaching us quickly. Not good, they are still accelerating, and they have broken through the recognized safe distance for sailing. At this time, Feng Yin Rehe seemed to have discovered something, and quickly warned. Bad intentions, E.H. Then let me sink them. Ma Yin was in a fit of anger. Once she heard that someone was going to make trouble on her side, she couldn't bear it anymore. After only a second or two, she was in the new lookout room on top of the ship next to the golden chimney. Through the scope, she could find a small boat rushing towards her at a fast speed. There were several men with knives and guns on it, who looked very vicious. It must be a pirate. Take a shot at me. Without the slightest hesitation, Main pulled the trigger. View. Boom. The small boat was instantly sunk by energy bullets fired from the pumpkin cannon. But, it seems that it is not that simple. Immediately, Ma Yin saw some surviving ones fly up using moonwalk, and were about to land on her own boat. Didn't I eat when I was the king of sniper? Ma Yin was furious, and the pumpkin cannon fired several times, shooting down those unlucky ghosts from the sky. Only one person barely landed on the bow of the ark without an arm. However, before he could stand still, he was knocked over by a lightning strike from the sky. Feng Yin Rehe has made a move. What? Are you people from the world government? Responsible for transporting the heavenly gold to the holy land of Mariajoy. Then you were robbed by a huge ship halfway. Lin Hu came over after hearing the news, asked all the questions easily because the other party was arrogant and arrogant. You are the captain. Since you know the world government, it will be easy. Your ship and everyone, our world government has now requisitioned. If you dare to resist, you will be wanted and hunted down by the world government in the future. I order you, your female relatives are very beautiful, maybe they can be favored by the creators. However, that guy had one arm broken, but he was still extremely arrogant. Seeing that Lin was surrounded by peerless beauties, he even thought of wanting to rob and go back to honor his own Wailong master. Lin ignored him, turned around and said to the women, let's help them grab the gold from revolving heaven. I'm really sorry for what happened a while ago, world government, this face, we will earn it back for them. What happened a while ago? Sorry world government. What did you guys do? The world government official was a little curious. It's nothing, just destroy your enemy's lobby. Ah, you, you are Lin. Forgive me, Lin's big marriage. Finally, that guy came to his senses, and quickly knelt down to beg for mercy, kowtowing endlessly, how could he dare to be arrogant at all? Lin even dared to attack Eni's lobby, but he didn't think that the other party would put world government in his eyes. 
throw him into the sea, and let him join his companions. Lin waved his hand and let Xiao Rahe throw him into the sea with the wind. Heavenly gold is the protection fee paid to celestial dragons by the member countries of the world government every year, and the amount of each amount is quite a lot. And I heard from that guy that the ship he escorted contained gold from more than a dozen countries. Although Lin is not short of money now, but thinking that he will be responsible for various expenses of more than a dozen beauties in the future, he feels that he will never have too much money. Otherwise, how to maintain the beautiful appearance and happy life of the crew, wives, in the family. It was easy knowing that Gecko Moria was nearby. After all, a thriller bark, a giant ship comparable to an island, would reveal a few traces even if it was covered by fog. Besides, in order to find out where they are as soon as possible, Lin asked Xiao Hiori to create a Namikaze storm, which dispersed the fog in a large area. Because I knew from Lin that the ship I was looking for would be one of the largest in the pirate world, so everyone was on the deck at the bow, waiting for the thriller bark to appear, gaining insight. As the third storm of Fungian Rahe blew up, somewhere in the distance, a gigantic black shadow finally appeared. It seems to be an island that looks a bit weird. It is surrounded by a high wall, and there is a huge mouth with teeth bared on the front. In the sky, there is a gigantic giant sail. It features a pair of fiery onion skulls with flaming bat wings. The 363 pirate logo on this giant sail illustrates the identity of this island. It is the thriller bark of Gecko Moria. Ma Yin, knock down the main entrance of the mouth. This gate is too small. Our boat can't get in. Lin gave the order right away. Obey, my dear captain. Ma Yin immediately set up a romantic fort pumpkin and began to accumulate energy, ready to expand. Gala. However, her pumpkin cannon was quickly sealed by a piece of ice. Why do you keep pointing your gun at me? You little boy who attacked at night. Acetus was also a little annoyed. Today, she also knows the identity of Ma Yin. But except for Lin, she doesn't care about other people on the boat at all, so she doesn't care about many things. But Ma Yin always wants to plot against her, this is unbearable. HMPH. You were the one who stood in front of me first. Please don't let the villain file a complaint first. Ma Yin, who was discovered of the conspiracy, quickly shook off the Xuanbing, aimed at the giant door with a big mouth, and gathered her strength again. Forget it, children are not sensible. Lin quickly came out to be a peacemaker. Boom. In the next second, Ma Yin shot out a straight line shooting laser that spanned thousands of meters of sea surface. Boom. Boom. Without the slightest surprise, that big mouthed giant door was reduced to powder. Not only that, the ferocious energy of the laser ignited all the ships behind the giant gate, igniting a raging fire. At this time, there were some ghostly cries and wolf howls from the sea of fire. It should be some people who have been taken away by Gecko Moria, have nowhere to go, and are temporarily hiding on the Hulk. Hey, hey, stay calm, don't burn the boat containing the gold in the sky. Lin was a little anxious when he saw this. Fortunately, there was a small day, which immediately brought a heavy rain and extinguished the fire on those ships. Soon, the Ark came to the landing place of this, giant island. It only took a few minutes for Lin and the others to find out the world government ship. After all, the world government's cross logo is a bit conspicuous among the many ships. But the boat was empty. The heavenly gold on board was removed. At this time, the people who had their shadows yelled, telling Lin to leave quickly. Let's go. This is the territory of the seven warlords of the sea Gecko Moria. If you don't go, your shadow will take it too. It's too miserable without a shadow, and you can't even see a ray of sunlight. Otherwise, it will be wiped out. Hurry up and find Marine. Only Marine can save us. Please. Don't go up, you are not his opponent. Shadow fruit is invincible. Lin didn't bother to care about those unlucky ghosts, turned around and announced an appointment with Zongan. Which one of you is going to get the money back? The reward for this mission, 200 points. Question mark question mark question mark. Oh, me me me. Lin, if you still have some conscience, give it to me. Cut. It's only 200 points, who do you look down on? At least 500 points. As soon as they heard that there was a reward of 200 points, the girls immediately became restless. Lin, leave it to me, I can handle it all by myself. It doesn't cost a single point. 
At this time, Asidus said invitingly. Asides, you are trying to kill people. Do it even if you don't need points. It's really disgusting. He he, I, Ma Yin, have already told you that the lackeys of the empire and the accomplices of the capitalists have never been good people. The girls exploded. But Lin nodded and approved Asidus' request. Wan Wang, capitalists also stink. Look at him nodding so fast, he looks like he doesn't want others to work for him for free. Bad or not, it's really sad that the strongest general of the noble empire has degenerated into this state, and let the stinky man wantonly drive him. That's right. I'll record this passage and show it to the night raiders. Huh. Acedes, you pay me for the camcorder. Just when everyone was indignant, there was a timid voice. Brother Lin, I don't need points. Feng Yin Rehe. Everyone can only support their foreheads, what else can they say? Xiao Rehe, I asked you to take the initiative, not this kind of initiative, you idiot. Main was also speechless. Now that Lin has these two diehard loyalists, it means that the unbreakable proletarian alliance has an irreparable rift. Okay, stop making trouble, it's important to do business. This time I let you take action, mainly because I want you to hone your fighting power. Although Gecko Moria's strength is not as good as yours, their abilities are very strange. Even you, there is still a possibility of being recruited. Go to Acedes. Lin asked Acedes to lead first. Then decided to leave Arena to guard the ship at home, and the rest followed him and then landed and killed the palace where Gecko Moria was. HMPH. I, Ma Yin, will not lose to this lackey of the empire. I must get the first kill. Brave girl, go for the duck. That's right, this Acetus is defiant every day, this time we must kill her vigor. At the beginning, the girls were aggressive, as if they were about to sweep the world. But with the dilapidated and decayed scenes such as broken walls and skeletons along the way, as well as various zombies and ghosts appearing under the dark mist, most people can't take it anymore. Oh my god. What the hell is this place? Lin, let's go back, don't go in again, there must be Pluton living in it. Ma Yin was so frightened that she jumped onto Lin's body, hugging the tree trunk tightly like a monkey. What left Lin speechless was, Xiao Rehe also jumped up in fright and hugged his back. Xiao Rehe is not Ma Yin. Although her figure is not as domineering as Tsunade, she is still D-level. So Lin could clearly feel the two oppressions, and her heartstrings swayed inexplicably. And the girly fragrance that Ma Yin smells good in front is lingering on the tip of the nose at this time, coupled with the jade soft and warm fragrance in her bosom. Longevity. Lin, what are you thinking? Stay here. At this time, Ma Yin, who hugged him tightly like a big octopus, inevitably noticed some abnormalities. Then come down quickly. Lin herself was a little embarrassed. Since being with Tsunade, my self-control seems to have weakened. I won't go down. It's terrible here. Main blushed Kaido. Lin is speechless. You're down, aren't you? Because a seeds opened the way ahead, anyone who dared to block was frozen into ice statues by her, so everyone went smoothly. However, when seeing the palace where Gecko Moria is, the entire thriller bark was inexplicably shaken. Immediately afterwards, the sky dimmed, and a strong wind came from nowhere, howling nonstop. At the same time, there are black shadows flying in the sky or on the ground at an extremely fast speed, gathering towards a certain place. What a spooky sight. It's a shadow. Shadows are gathering towards the palace. Wait, that palace seems to be completely frozen. The girls shouted, and Lin squinted her eyes, looking at the huge palace that was frozen into a huge block of ice. With such a summoning shadow, he knew that Gecko Moria was about to open up. The next time you face this kind of miscellaneous fish, it's better not to use nuclear weapons like Acetus, it's really a scare to scare the opponent to death. Lin was a little helpless. Sudden. Boom. Inside the frozen palace, a violent explosion suddenly occurred and began to collapse. And the figure of the person fighting inside began to appear. Hiss. When they saw who Acedes was facing, even Ma Yin and the others gasped. I saw that the guy Acedes was fighting was huge. 30 to 40 meters tall, looked like a two-horned demon, with cross stitches from head to neck, and was wearing a gothic costume with a bat-like 14 collar. Where have Ma Yin and the others seen such a weird monster, and they screamed again, wanting to jump on Lin. But Lin didn't get used to her this time and made himself suffer, and threw her directly on the big tree trunk next to him. 
that gigantic demonic monster, is none other than Gecko Moria. Not the usual Gecko Moria though. The normal Gecko Moria is only about 7 meters long. This gigantic form of 30 to 40 meters high should be Gecko Moria blessed with 100 shadows, maybe even the power of 1000 shadows. Just met a seeds, looked at Moria and used the skill of pressing the bottom of the box. Worthy of a seeds. I didn't expect you to be able to increase your strength so much. Your fruit ability is very interesting. Asidus stopped when he saw Lin and the others coming. Phew. Who are you guys? Thousands of shadows added to the body, and the incomparable power surged in the body, making Gecko Moria even breathe a little involuntarily. Just a moment ago, he was enjoying a meal with his subordinates in a luxurious palace. Who knew that Asidus not only fell from the sky, but also froze the entire palace. If he hadn't used the skill Shadow Warrior in time to swap his real body with his avatar, he might not even have a chance to fight back. Because Asidus is too strong. This kind of reckless crushing force, he has only seen in Kaido's body. Therefore, even with the power of Chenying now, he dare not say that he can defeat Asidus. Hand over the gold from the sky. Asidus said. I can give you back the heavenly gold. But if you take the heavenly gold, can you leave my ship right away? Gecko Moria's posture was actually a little low. This makes Lin a bit strange. Gecko Moria, but has the ambition of chasing the One Piece throne, and even fought against Kaido, why are you so cowardly? There is no reason. After a while, when Lin saw the two figures walking out of the palace, she immediately understood, this guy is trying to delay the attack. Slaying the Dragon Sword Hero Dragon Horse. Princess Mononoke Perona. But there are only these two. The other zombies, as well as the other two weird Hobuck and Absalom with the ability of transparent fruit, were not wiped out when Asides frozen the palace. Just lost the combat power. Gala. In the distance, a huge monster is waking up and gradually walking out of the huge room where it is stored. Devil Oz. The gigantic demon known to the world for 500 years, is nicknamed Yungwo Oz because he likes to transport his favorite island away. It has a terrifying height of 67 meters, an extremely strong body, and incredible brute force. In terms of threat, it is not inferior to Chenying Moria. Interesting, pick your opponent. Lin still didn't plan to make a move, let Ma Yin and the others deal with these enemies. Let me fight this big guy. Tsunade turned his attention to Oz the Devil. As the spokesperson of violence, Oz, the devil who seems to be open and close, is obviously her favorite opponent. That skeleton swordsman, Shaori is as powerful as you, you can handle it. That girl who looks sneaky and obviously weak, let me, Lord Ma Yin, teach you. Hey. Ma Yin picked Perona, who didn't look that strong, with a smug smirk on her face, as if she had already won. Feng Yin Rehe would never refuse his partner's request, so he took the task of dealing with the great swordsman Ryoma. Okay. Little ones, if you finish this wave, you will get 300 more points. Although Lin really wanted to make a move to deal with the swordsman Ryoma immediately, and got the black knife Chushui in the opponent's hand. But think about it or leave it to Shaori and long experience. With Shaori Hei's current A plus level strength, it is not a big problem to defeat the great swordsman Ryoma. It happened that Shaori Hei hadn't fought Da Janao yet, so today was a chance. Long live the captain. Under the heavy reward, there must be a brave girl. The three of Tsunade were full of energy and rushed towards their respective goals. That's how I look like a captain. How about being a babysitter every day? You flowers in the greenhouse always have to face the ups and downs outside. Are you right? Absalom. In the next moment, Lin turned around and looked at a certain place and said lightly. Ah. Impossible, don't you? The place looked empty, but there was a voice of surprise. Transparent Fruit Ability User, Absalom. After Lin got the full level Conqueror's Hockey, her mental strength was greatly improved, and her perception of the surrounding environment became much stronger. Of course, if Absalom didn't come close to Lin to attack, Lin might not be able to spot him in the first place. This also made Lin have a lot of desire for Observation Hockey. Conqueror's Hockey, in the battle of top powerhouses, both are indispensable. If you want to become a ceiling level powerhouse in this world, you must have the top conqueror's hockey attainments. Because whether it is the One Piece Roger, or the four later sea emperors, all of them have the existence of super conqueror's hockey. 
Dad. Lin frowned slightly, and swept away with a wave of conqueror's hockey, easily stunned the unlucky guy who dared to hit bow 310SS. Boom boom boom. The next moment, Lin Pirates vs a fierce melee kicked off. Among them, the two battles of Chikage Moria vs Ace Des and Tsunade vs Demon Oz are the most intense and destructive. If there is no accident, this thriller bark won't last long under their devastation. But the most interesting one is the duel between Xiao Rehe and Longma, the dragon slaying swordsman. A living mage versus juggernaut situation. Fortunately, Xiao Rehe has also mastered the two color hockey and marine six styles, plus the air pressure and wind thunder that can control Rui. Lin doesn't have to worry about being hurt by the opponent. However, the funniest battle was between Main and Perona. At the beginning, Ma Yin raised her hand and shot several times, making Perona a little flustered. However, she turns the front half of the pumpkin cannon into a blade shape and rushes forward to fight Perona. Ah, uh, you are a sniper, big sister, why did you rush up and fight Melee? Lin was a little speechless about the way she gave up her own advantages, but knew it was a choice. Because Perona's force value is also very average. Main should have seen this. However, Ma Yin did all the calculations, but she never realized that Perona's ability is so pervert. After just one negative ghost passed through her body, she completely surrendered. Wukinli I had a boyfriend to help me out. Do you want to record the battle here? Sibel on the side pointed to Ma Yin who was crying negatively on the ground, and asked Lin. Ah, stupid Main. Lin didn't expect that Main gave Perona a chance to release the negative ghost, and she was hit. Just when he was about to attack Perona, Perona flew towards Gecko Moria. Because over there, Acedes not only blasted out the thousands of shadows from Gecko Moria's body, but also frozen him completely. It has to be said that Acedes, who possesses admiral level combat strength and extremely rich combat experience, is not too easy to deal with Gecko Moria, who is in an unstable state because of forcibly swallowing Chenying. Lord Moria. Perona flew over and released many ghosts. Among these ghosts, there are not only negative ghosts, but also ghost bombs, clone ghosts, big and small, all kinds of them, all making laughing voices, swarming towards Acedes. What's this? Acedes looked at these almost transparent ghosts, but she didn't know what kind of ability it was, so she chose to step back and avoid the edge. Lin praised this, as expected of Acedes, this combat experience is too rich. But Perona's ghost is not so easy to deal with. He he he. Boom boom boom. Acedes continuously released ice walls. Countless ice thorns shot rapidly, or ice slugs locked and pierced, but none of them could stop these ghosts from killing. Fortunately, Acedes is faster than these ghosts. Therefore, she can still do a job with ease. Killing you won't solve it. Acedes looked at Perona who was commanding the ghost behind him, killing intent flashed in his eyes. Zila. She jumped up into the air suddenly snapped her fingers and opened her arms, a light blue cold light flashed on her body, and a hailstone hundreds of meters in size instantly condensed into L. Acedes then turned gracefully, and floated to the side of the origin hailstone like a flying elf, causing it to crash down. Acedes. Lin has a headache. A hailstone of your origin could kill Perona, but it would also destroy this ship. Then, everyone go to the sea to drink sea water. Ah, you're crazy. You're going to smash our boat. Quick. Stop. Perona screamed in fright, looking extremely panicked. Lin and others, what a naive baby. Just when Lin was considering whether to kill Acetus Origin Hailstone with a single sword. Boom. Suddenly, a huge black spear leapt from the ground, pierced fiercely into the middle of the falling Origin Hailstone, and directly pierced through it. Shadow Horn Gun. Gecko Moria's deadly move. Gecko Moria, Yirin still has the power to fight. Wow. At this time, Lin's flying slash also arrived, easily cutting the huge origin hailstone into countless small pieces of ice in an instant. Okay, let's stop here, I, Lin, came here just to want the gold in the sky and the underworld in the hands of the dragon horse, and I have no intention of annihilating you. Lin came out and said. You. Gecko Moria was panting heavily, and his face was very ugly. Lin's group came up inexplicably, destroyed his palace and many zombies, and now stop saying that he has no intention of annihilating them. Are you kidding me? I'm Gecko Moria, but seven warlords of the sea. Where else but Kaido did I suffer this humiliation from Gecko Moria? 
Thinking of this, Yeko Moria's forehead was full of blue veins. However, Asidus's crushing terrifying strength made him dare not speak out. And just now, Lin shot to destroy the super hailstone hundreds of meters in size, and the swordsmanship strength displayed by Lin made him even more frightening. If you read correctly, Lin's slash just now is a random flat slash. Yes, it's really just a random sword, without any power, or blessing armament hockey or something. He is not a simple great swordsman, but a top-notch great swordsman, possibly at the same level as Hakai Mahak. Thoughts flashed through his mind, and Gekko Moria looked at Perona on the side and Absalom lying in the distance. No matter how angry he was, he could only press down. He understood that if he disobeyed Lin again, his pirate group might be wiped out, and it would be completely wiped out. At this time, wow. Demon Oz was also subdued by Tsunade who used strange power. Moreover, everyone saw an extremely shocking scene. I saw Tsunade punching down in the air, smashing the demon Ozzy who had climbed up the building and was about to jump up to attack. He could only let out a miserable cry on the ground. It seems that Tsunade's punch just now shattered all the bones in his whole body. What a domineering power this is. Gekko Moria took a deep breath, only feeling the cold sweat on his forehead. Undoubtedly, on Lin's side, there are almost three top combat forces of the Admiral level. How can we fight this one? You guys are so strong, why are you still wandering around the first half of the Grand Line? Is this to play with me, Gekko Moria? Gekko Moria's complexion was extremely ugly. With the strength of the Lin pirates, it is more than enough to go to New World to achieve the title of the Fifth Sea Emperor, but they are still swaying in the first half, bullying weak chickens, it is simply inja. But he still forced a smile on his face. Your Excellency Lin, I'm going to take the gold from the sky and give it to you. In addition, I will personally offer 200 million berry as your hard work for a trip. At the same time, he also told Longma, the dragon-slaying swordsman, to stop and retreat. Of course, this is also the reason why he saw that Longma was about to lose his hold. Feng Yin Rehe's air pressure and wind power attack can provide a solid defense from a distance, and a fierce attack from a distance. Even a great swordsman can't stand it. Slaying dragons and swords heroes and horses is one of his most proud masterpieces, and he doesn't want to lose it. Zhao Zhao's in the face of absolute crushing strength, no matter how proud you are, you will just seek meaningless death. Seeing Gekko Moria, who has always been arrogant and disobeyed even Kaido, has become this kind of honest person who accepts everything. For a moment, Lin felt that she was a little too deceitful. Of course, this trace of guilt couldn't survive even a second in Lin's heart. After all, they have all come out to be pirates, and they still talk about so much benevolence, righteousness and morality. Besides, what Gekko Moria does every day in this magic triangular area is stealing people's boats, stealing people's shadows, and even their bodies. Therefore, Lin felt that she only needed some money and a knife, which was a bit merciful. Wow. So much money. Tisk tisk, it looks like a hill. Captain, Captain. Then, should we increase our activity expenses? Woo. I have never seen so much money in my life. But. There is no problem with the gold in the sky, but when Longma was asked to hand over the black knife Chushui, he was rejected. Gekko Moria didn't expect that Ryoma would resist his order like never before, and he was very surprised on the spot. Just when Gekko Moria was considering whether to pull out the shadow inside and then take the knife, Lin spoke. Senior Ryoma, I know the origin of Heidao Chu Shui, and I also understand its significance to Wanokuni. If you give it to me, in return, if I go to New World in the future, I will help you liberate Wanokuni under Kaido rule. And, I'll give it back to the Kazuki clan of Wanokuni. What Lin said is true. In the future, Kaido will be a stepping stone for his reputation and bounty to rise to a higher level, and Chushui is not his first choice of weapon. Although Heidao Chushui has the highest density sword body in the pirate world, it is said that even if an elephant steps on it, the sword body will not bend by a millimeter. For him who has full level armament hockey, Yan Mo, who can maximize the power of armament hockey, is a more suitable weapon. Of course, whether Yan Mo is the most suitable depends on whether there will be peerless magic weapons in the reward box after the upgrade, such as Zanpakuto in the Shinigami world. Clang. Longma 167 didn't make a sound, 
but shook the sword and slammed the sky, and slashed a brilliant big slash to the sky. I swear, there is no falsehood in what I just said. Lin naturally understood what it meant, and followed suit, shaking the sword and screaming, slashing and swearing. Seeing Lin swearing, Ryoma immediately offered a black sword and autumn water, then put his hands together, and bowed deeply to Lin. Don't worry, I want to kill Kaido. Because I'm curious if he is really immortal, I really want to try. Lin's words not only caused obvious emotional fluctuations on Longma's zombie face, but even Gekko Moria's expression changed drastically, with mixed feelings. Undoubtedly, the scene where Kaido took the lives of all his companions reappeared in his mind, bringing him unspeakable grief. But his originally extremely humiliated mood dissipated a lot because of Lin's promise to Ryoma. Yes, as long as you say cut Kaido, then you are my friend of Moria. The two sides shook hands to make peace, and Lin said that he wanted to kill Kaido, Gekko Moria became a little enthusiastic, and even asked Lin and others to come down for dinner. This transformation of Gekko Moria made his subordinates all stare at each other with bewildered faces. Someone just destroyed your palace and residence, and robbed you of your money and famous knives, and you still want to keep him for dinner. Is this welcome again next time? Lin refused. Lin really has no interest in dining in this spooky place. At this time, all the girls were surrounded by Princess Mononoke Perona, all of them looked very curious. Their curiosity was all caused by Ma Yin's embarrassment caused by the negative ghost. It's amazing. That Gekko Moria's ability is to manipulate shadows, and you are a ghost. The various abilities in this world are really surprising, and imagination can't keep up. I don't know what it would be like if I was passed through by this negative ghost. How about we try and face directly the source of our deepest negativity? That's right, just try it. I'm usually such a positive person, this negative ghost must be useless to me. It seems interesting. Stop talking, I'll come first. Do Shaori and you want to come too? Um, I, Ma Yin, advise you to take care of yourself. That feeling is too uncomfortable. However, after watching and researching for a while, they came up with the idea of trying it for themselves, and the victim, Ma Yin, couldn't stop it. Lin on the other side was speechless. Perhaps, this is the soul of eight trigrams unique to women. Originally, Perona, who was trembling because of being watched, immediately puffed up her chest when she heard that they all wanted to try the negative taste B. The humiliation this princess suffered just now will be doubled to you fools. The first one to shout to try, was Tsunade. Whoosh. The ghost of negativity passed through her body in an instant. I'm just a puddle of mud that can't be lifted, the waste of the Senju family, the scourge of Konoha village, not worthy of Lin at all. The second one is Kahiyori. D. Wu, I am not as mature and clumsy as sister Tsunade, I can't please brother Lin at all, so I can only work harder in my next life. The third is Acedes. Hey. What face does a person like me have to be a general of the empire, or stay at home and give birth to ten children for Lin? Gekko Moria et al. Then they all turn to the culprit, Lin. And they all look at the eyes of scumbags. Would you believe me if I said I was innocent? Lin rubbed the back of her head, a little awkwardly sophistrying. I don't want to be a scumbag either, I can only blame the system for being too fooled, who made it only recruit female sailors, if you recruit female sailors, you can recruit them, and all of them are big beauties, who can stand up to this normal man. Lin secretly thought that she could only blame everything on the garbage system. This is Hei Dao Chu Shui. It is indeed one of the strongest in Dakue Dao. It has been several days since I left the thriller bark, but Lin is still touching the blade of the black knife Chushui, feeling every minute and every inch of this peerless weapon. Due to the extremely excellent material, Although it is already a black knife attribute, Lin feels that if she continues to nurture it with her full level armament hockey, it may become stronger. Of course, because Lin's goal is Yan Mo, he will not do such a thankless thing, but he can't warm up and send it back to Wanokuni, is it cheaper for others? If a full level armament hockey is not worthy of Yan Mo who can bring armament hockey to ultimate, it would be a waste of money. Although Chushui also has the special ability to fuse other swords, Lin does not intend to follow the route of two-sword style and three-sword style, so he still chooses Yan Mo. The most important thing here is, Yan Mo is not a black knife, and the upgrade space is obviously much larger than that of Chushui. Sudden. 
Room. He pressed down with his right hand, and the operation space was activated instantly, covering the entire room. Today, he can already achieve a small operation space in seconds. No need to wait for the transparent gas to spin a few times. Gala. The moment he activated the operating space, a burst of light blue light swept across. Wherever this light blue light passes, everything is frozen to the bone, and everything is stagnant. Mahapatma of Acedes. She is going to sneak attack again. However, Lin had already teleported herself out of the room in the thousandth of a second before the light blue light swept across. Acedes Mahapatama has failed again. Stop playing, it's not fun. I can't catch it every time. With a coquettish sound, the figure of Acedes appeared in the room. Isn't this pretty good? Your Mahapatmo casting time is already one second longer than when you first came here, and the improvement is very obvious. And you have also mastered two kinds of hockey and marine six styles, which are obviously much stronger than before. In the next second, Lin teleported back again. He was still sitting in front of the table, holding the black knife Chushui to watch carefully, as if it hadn't moved. It's amazing. I want to have a normal relationship, but now I have to face the Shira field every day, fighting with a group of women. I want to find a love partner who has a future, and I hope I can cultivate it by myself. Now it seems like you are cultivating me. You are younger than me, but obviously I am being dominated by you. Besides, you are a gutless person. You obviously have desires for me, but you dare not touch me because of the coercion of that ant named Tsunade. You don't have a pure smile either, if I remember correctly, you smiled the happiest when you blackmailed Gecko Moria for heavenly gold, and when you saw us being played by the ghosts of negativity. Acedes complained a little annoyed. This is completely opposite to the love conditions I originally envisioned. You say that, I'm very stressed. Lin put away the autumn water, looked at Acedes, but found that the other party came today premeditated, Instead of wearing the military uniform of the past, he changed into a short skirt with suspenders, revealing his fair and domineering figure, can easily bury the eyes of all men. Do you like it? It's specially worn for you to see. Acedes blushed, and his light blue eyelashes fluttered, completely unable to conceal the turbulent spring flowing from his eyes. Her character is so direct and sassy. But at this time, squeak. Not far away, a square wooden plank lifted up, and then Tsunade leaned out half of his body from it. Acedes, have you finished talking? Go back to sleep if you have nothing to do, don't seduce other men. In order to prevent Acedes from stealing Lin, she even broke through the room between herself and Lin. Acedes curled his lips when he heard the words, Oh. Who said that he is the waste of the Senju family, the scourge of Konoha village, and not worthy of Lin? Tsunade was also annoyed when she heard her revealing her scars, HMPH. Don't tell me you, a running dog of the empire, really dare to give this scumbag one. If he likes it, it's not that I can't, my physical fitness is very good. Acetus confront each other. Okay okay. Seeing that the two were about to fight, Lin quickly came out to be a peacemaker. Hey boy, if you fight, this arc will definitely be scrapped. Snort. In a short time, the two broke up unhappy, leaving only Lin who was still smiling awkwardly. Alas, the blessing of cheap people is not easy to enjoy. Immediately, Lin put away her smile, shook her head, and began to think about the next plan. I'm going to New World next, and I need to cross the Red Line. Should I take the route of the Fishmen Island, or fly directly over the Red Line? Let's leave it to them to vote. If nothing else, it should be the Fishmen Island. After all, women. The prestige is already 720,000, and the prestige required by the seventh crew member is enough, and there is a difference of 200 million bounties. Which profession will the new crew choose? Boatman, musician, or the new profession that will be unlocked at that time? After the bounty of 1.5 billion is released, the system will unlock two new jobs, which Lin is looking forward to. Also, my bounty is already at the level of the emperor's deputy. If I want to increase it to a higher level, I need a bigger event stimulus. So, from now on, we must prepare to fight against the Imperial Regiment. In the Four Emperors, which soft persimmon is better to pinch? Whitebeard is seriously ill, but he is also the most powerful, with a lot of strong fighters under his command. Big Mom's family is in a group, it's not good. 
the elite of the red-haired regiment is also a very tricky existence. Then, there's only Kaido of the beasts. Of course, this wave of analysis by Lin is also a bit subjective. Ever since he got the black knife Chushui, he wanted to kill Kaido. Because of killing Kaido, you can mess with his younger brother ten seven warlords of the Sea Da Flamingo. Kill two birds with one stone. Now that I have killed two seven warlords of the sea, if I cut another one, I don't know if marine and world government can stay calm and dare to increase my bounty. 1. In the conference hall at Marineford, naval headquarters. D. Sengoku slapped a stack of newspapers that smelled like ink on the table, take a look. Many senior executives of Marine took a look, and saw that the full page was Lin again. Big event. Lin pirates defeated seven warlords of the sea Gekko Moria. So far, Lin has defeated the two seven warlords of the sea under the world government. Lin's bounty has reached 1.3 billion, how much will it increase this time? An analysis from a senior New World commentator. Lin rescued many people whose shadows were taken away by Gekko Moria, and won the praise of the name of Saint. Shocked. Celestial Dragon's heavenly gold actually fell into Lin's hands. Lin said that she would use the money for charity in the future to help some poor people exploited by celestial dragons. Multiple pirate groups believe that Lin is the savior, the beacon that will overthrow the celestial dragons in the future, claiming that they will join Lin's banner and follow for life. What do you think? Sengoku rubbed his forehead, feeling a little headache. The sand crocodile was hacked, and the world government didn't make any inquiries, but now that Gekko Moria is also hacked, the world government must not be able to sit still. Then, the pressure will come to your side again. Marshal Sengoku, you don't have to worry too much, this Lin should go to New World according to his route. Ha ha. Let the four emperors have a headache, anyway, we can't reach the New World if we want to. That's right. Let's just watch the show. It's just that Marshal, you are a little hard to explain. There is nothing to explain, Kuzan Admiral should catch up with this guy soon. Even if he pretends, he will explain. It's a pity that the other admirals have official duties, otherwise the combination of the two admirals should be able to annihilate this hateful guy. Sending two marine admirals. That's something that hasn't happened in these years. I think the world government is also struggling. After all, they haven't even sent out the strongest CPO elite. After they had a discussion, Sengoku asked, you mean to let Lin go to New World? You can't say that Sengoku, if Kuzan can handle them alone, it is undoubtedly the best. If it can't be done, then we have nothing to do, we can only let them escape to New World. Garp seemed to see through his mind and said with a smile. Recently, the Revolutionary Army has instigated rebellions in several countries. Our focus should be on that side. The pirates who are going to New World, what do they do so much? As for the face of world government and celestial dragons, what does it have to do with our marine? Garp, shut up. Sengoku snorted quietly. In marine, you, the marine hero, are the only one who doesn't pay attention to the world government and celestial dragons. Okay, Lin, wait for Kuzan Admiral's feedback before making a decision. Our next key topic is the Revolutionary Army. Report. Kuzan Admiral is calling. He has found the Lin pirates and is preparing to arrest them. At this time, the secretary sent the news that shocked everyone. Just when Sengoku et al. were about to conduct a key session. Report. Kuzan Admiral is calling. He has found the Lin pirates and is preparing to hunt them down. At this time, the secretary sent the news that shocked everyone. As expected of Kuzan Admiral, he caught up so quickly. This time we must catch everything. I don't think it's a big problem. Although Op Op Fruit's ability is weird, Kuzan Admiral represents the highest combat power of our marine, and we won't lose. Marshal Sengoku, why don't we start a live broadcast on Marine's side? E.H. You can have this. Lin broadcasted us last time, this time we will broadcast back. We can use Kuzan Admiral to get back all the face we lost with the world government. Yes. After starting the live broadcast, you can report it to the world government, so that Master Five Elders can also see the true strength of our Marine's highest combat power. The CP organization is just a clown. No. We, Marine, are the backbone of the world government. Seeing everyone getting emotional, Sengoku rubbed his chin and pondered. On Aokiji's warship, 
There is indeed a phone bug that can be used for live broadcasting, but in the current situation, one or two live broadcasts can be used. But he was still a little worried. Just in case. Just in case. Aokiji can't deal with Lin and them. Then this live broadcast will turn into a prank that will discredit Marine. Put me through to Kuzan. Sengoku thought about it, and still wanted to get an exact statement from Aokiji before making the live broadcast decision. The incident with Eni's lobby and the Gate of Justice last time made Marine and the world government very embarrassed. If they make another embarrassment this time, it will cause irreparable damage to the reputation and prestige of the two. Crunch. I said Sengoku, why don't you even believe in the strength of your own battle? Garp saw him wary, a little disdainful. When Garp was at Justice's gate, he talked to Aokiji about Lin. Aokiji is guaranteed to catch Lin and others at the next meeting. What kind of person Aokiji is, Garp knows very well. Since he can guarantee that he can kill Lin's group, it means that the level of combat power of Lin's group is still a bit far from that of Marine Admiral. Although Lin is amazing, and his strength surpasses many supernovas, Marine should not give him a chance to grow. It's not that I don't have confidence, it's that I don't have this authority now. I need to apply to the higher authorities. Sengoku's expression changed. Yes, although he is the marshal of the marine, he does not have the permission to broadcast live all over the world. After the Eni's lobby incident, marine's authority in this area was taken back by the world government. He guessed that it was probably because marine started the live broadcast at that time, but Aokiji didn't solve the reason for Lin. Huh. Five elders, these five old fools. Garp spat, which made everyone's expressions change. Proverbs of the Ark. In the meeting room, Lin Pirates is passing a vote. The Fishmen Island route. Full tickets. Tsunade read out the voting results, and the girls present cheered. Long live. I heard that the Fishmen Island is the most beautiful place. It's 10,000 meters below the water. It's surrounded by transparent bubbles, and it's called an underwater paradise, a fantasy paradise. Wow, just hearing the name, I want to go there right away. I hope it will be as dreamy and beautiful as Sky Island. Hey, when you mention it, I think of the golden bell of Sky Island. That sound is really beautiful, and it is not the sound of nature that the world can have. Really, it's a pity. I came too late and didn't have a chance to hear it. I can only blame Captain Nose for not choosing me. Even Acetus is slowly blending into them. When the golden bell rings, Sky Island is like heaven. Acedes, let me tell you, Sky Island really has angels, and they all have two little wings. Isn't it? After our captain becomes the Pirate King, we'll go back and have a look when we have time. It must, I want to go to Sky Island again, and listen to the sound of the golden bell again. Golden bell. Everyone sighed excitedly about the golden bell, but Tsunade blushed inexplicably. You probably don't know that the cloud where the golden bell is located has left many crazy imprints of me and this stinky captain. Boru Boru Bolu. At this time, a small phone bug on the table rang. It was Sibel who was at the helm calling. Sabayati Archipelago, already seen in outline. It only takes half an hour to land on the Sabayati Archipelago and she wants Captain Lin to choose a suitable landing place. And the coating of boats to be carried out on the Fishmen Island. Yay! Sabayati Archipelago. Shopping paradise, here we come. Lin, give us the funding for the event. We're going to have a blast this time. Hey! You didn't expect that, about this shopping, I have already made a strategy three days in advance. Wow! Arena, you are so strong. After getting off the boat, I will follow you. Such a shopping paradise, without an activity fund of more than 1 million berry, how can it not be enjoyable? As soon as they heard the word Sabayati Archipelago, all the girls cheered. Then, their eyes all focused on Lin. What are you looking at me for? I'm not an ATM, even if it's an ATM, I still need a card and pin. As the captain, you are not only responsible for your food, drink, lodging, transportation, and even high-end shopping. It's too difficult. Can't you be considerate of me, Captain? Lin touched her nose, then looked miserable. Here you go. You're still pretending. You just robbed Perona's sister of heavenly gold, and you Lin is fat. The desire to shop was aroused, so Tsunade didn't care so much about him, and went straight up to find out the stalls. Okay, okay. 
Normal activity costs 500,000 berry. Lin couldn't stand it anymore. Also, don't use your points to exchange berry with the system just because you think it's too small, it's not worth it. One of your points can only be exchanged for 10,000 berry with the system, but with me, it can be exchanged for 20,000 berry. Come on. In order to enjoy the crazy shopping, crazy shopping, dear crew members, please don't be stingy with the points in your hands. Sabayati Archipelago is the most prosperous and chaotic island. It not only gathers luxury products from major companies from all over the world, but also has a 0.5 chance to buy rare treasures from other islands. If you miss it, don't come again. Because next, we are going to the new world, and it will be a journey in years. At this time, Lin turned into a profiteer, advocating everything about Sabayati Archipelago. Change. I changed everything. Me too. Anyway, points are something, I'll earn them later. Ah. In this case, I originally planned to go back to my world in two years, and it will be postponed again. It's so tangled. Forget it, let's change. Capitalists. Endless jobs, endless points, and homes that can't be returned. I've changed them all too. Just when all the girls succumbed and returned the points to Lin, there was another message from Sabelle. Captain Lin, there is a marine warship chasing after. And I just received news that the world government has just launched a world-class live broadcast. Judging from the debugging screen before the broadcast, this live broadcast is locked on us. Wow. The legendary marine admiral. It's time to meet us again. This time, is the captain going to fight? He he. Ma Yin, you smile so sinisterly, why do I feel that you want to see the captain get beaten? I don't, I'm not. Don't talk nonsense. It's that Aokiji who came here this time. Dare to touch my Lin, look at my mother, I won't pluck all his hair. Aokiji is a chicken. Tsunade rolled up his sleeves, looking menacing and about to go out and do it right away. Marine Admiral, isn't he the best in Marine? Asid saw that Tsunade was excited, and she was not far behind. After getting an affirmative answer, she rushed out after Tsunade. Forehead. For these two militants, Lin was a little speechless. Everyone quickly came to the stern position. Under Lin's instruction, Sibel quickly set up two sets of equipment, the main camera and the backup camera. Finally, the big one is coming. Sibel was gearing up, with a look of excitement on her face. Although she was promoted to a special level reporter, she was only the last among the ten special level reporters, and there was still a long way to go in the future. And the position 14 above the special reporter, there is also a chief reporter who has been vacant for nearly a year. This chief reporter's seat is the end point of her lifelong struggle for Sibel. At this time, everyone looked around and saw a special small warship catching up at an extremely fast speed 3 to 4 kilometers away. In a few minutes, it can catch up with the Ark. At the bow of the small warship, Admiral Aokiji wearing small sunglasses is standing. Lin, let me beat him up. Last time, I just took revenge for the frozen revenge. Tsunade looked eager to try. Her armament hockey has already reached the bottleneck of the intermediate level, so she wants to take this opportunity to see if she can break through one or two. But instead of letting her play, Lin named a seeds. Obey. My dear captain, Asides will fulfill his mission and prove that your choice is correct. Asides bowed slightly, then cast a meaningful glance at Tsunade, and flew towards Aokiji. Lin Yu. Tsunade pouted, he was really upset to be ridden in the face by his love rival on the spot. But Lin quickly turned her depression into warmth, she is a combatant, and she must go first if there is a battle. You are just a ship doctor, stay well, don't make any mistakes. After a while, Lin looked forward and said generously. Everyone is optimistic, a peerless show is about to debut. Next, we will witness an unprecedented classic battle in this world. The world will know who is, the Emperor of Ice. What Lin said made everyone tremble immediately. However, the simultaneous live broadcast of Shi Buyer and the world government made the entire pirate world boil at this time. Yes. This is an unprecedented simultaneous live broadcast all over the world. At this time, the scope of the live broadcast almost covered nearly half of the population of Pirate World. Moreover, Morgans is using all the resources, which is even bigger than the last live broadcast of Eni's lobby. The coverage area is still increasing. 
This war will also be a real carnival for the whole world. With the hard work of the hosts on both sides, all the audience soon entered the state of being about to explode. In the Palace of Alabasta. Today the halls of the Uranus Palace are filled with members of the royal family and some dignitaries. Even Princess Vivi is there. But at this time, they were not discussing the importance of the country. Instead, I was watching the live broadcast, cheering for a pirate group. Alabasta is one of the member countries of the world government, and the ruling royal family is the descendant of the former creator, but they are cheering for a pirate group that is opposite the world government. If the world government and the celestial dragons know. However, everyone present couldn't control that much anymore. When Alabasta was in turmoil due to natural disasters and man-made disasters, Cobra sought help from Marine and the world government, but neither got decent help. It was Lin and his team who extended a helping hand to the kingdom and saved the entire country. Now, although Lin and Feng Yin Rehe have been away for a long time, their prestige in the kingdom is even higher. They are still the gods and saintesses of the kingdom. Even if the world government is offended by this, Cobra and others will not feel anything wrong. Brother Lin, Sister Rehe, you must win. Princess Vivi stared at the live broadcast, clenched her hands into fists and cheered for Lin. Don't worry Vivi, Lord Lin, they won't lose, because they are great miracles themselves. Marines can't create miracles. Cobra, who has been paying close attention to Lin's news all the way, is full of confidence in Lin. Of course, there are also people who are worried, your majesty, but Marine Admiral is dispatched from the Marine side, their highest combat power. Immediately, seeing Lin send Acetus to play, everyone's confidence was a little shaken. Isn't it, Master Lin doesn't make a move, let a strange female crew member make a move. In the first match, I'm afraid I will lose. Except for Lord Lin and Lady Saint, how can anyone else be the opponent of Marine Admiral? Yeah, Kuzan is awesome, he just frozen an erupting volcano. Not only Alabasta, but also other audiences, when they saw Acedes instead of Lin, they were all in an uproar. Without him, it was only because Acedes appeared in front of the world for the first time. Even on the crew bounty list of the Lin pirates, no one could find any information about her. As if the Lin pirates had never had this person before. 127. New recruits. Then Lin put such a rookie against the famous Marine Admiral. What are you kidding? Even Tsunade, who was sent to break the iceberg with one punch last time and amazed everyone, is how many times stronger than this newcomer. However, there are also many people who feel inexplicably refreshed. As long as this newcomer named Acetus can survive a few tricks under Marine Admiral, and then Lin will take over, the face-slapping Marine will be completed. Of course, they also speculated that Acetes might be a reinforcement hired by Lin from outside, maybe he really has some strength. However, they never expected. New world, aboard the Mobidi. Gu la 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 la. You actually sent a rookie who is not on the bounty list of the group to fight against the highest combat power of Marine. This Lin is so interesting. Whitebeard wiped the wine from the corner of his mouth and laughed happily. But Marco frowned. I'm afraid it's inappropriate to play with Marine like this. I think this Acedes is doomed today. At this moment, a phone on Margot rang. After connecting, his expression changed drastically, and then he leaned over to Whitebeard's ear, and immediately informed him of the news he had received. What? It didn't stop, and Whitebeard almost dropped the flagon in his hand when he heard it. Call him back immediately, and tell him not to act rashly. Forget it, give me the phone bug, and I will tell him personally. What a worrying child. That is the legendary pirate who resounds across the sea, and it is not so easy to deal with. Whitebeard sighed, then told Margo to bring the phone bug, to persuade him himself. The scene that Lin sent Acedes to fight not only caused a huge sensation in the world. Even the powerful New World was stunned by Lin's arrangement. But after being stunned, they laughed more. Because of this behavior, it was equivalent to slapping Marine hard on the face. Of course, the premise is that Aokiji can't do anything to this Acedes. Therefore, Almost everyone thought that Lin would shoot when Acetus was not good. There are also many people who speculate that Lin's strategy should be to engage in wheel battles. Acetes is dead, and other female crew members will make up for it, Lin will even make a shot at the end. Keep the tie and win. Even if it is a tie or escapes the hunt, the Lin pirates will win this time. 
After all, they are facing the highest combat power of Marine. Of course, most of the audience think Lin is doomed this time. Especially those powerful people in New World who have seen the horror of Marine Admiral almost overwhelmingly placed their bets on Marine. Stupid guy, you dare to live broadcast the whole world. The last time you escaped at the gate of justice, it was your luck. This time your luck will run out. It's been a long time since I've seen Marine Admiral make a move. This guy named Lin, he slapped his face like this at the beginning, and he's going to be unlucky after that. Lin pirates, let's get rid of this. She 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 she, these years, these clowns are the same supernova, can you have less? Hurry up and put me through Tezolo's betting line. I'm going all in on Marine Aokiji to win. What? The odds of buying Aokiji have dropped to 1.1. Hee hee, even if it's 1.1. I still stud. Isn't this giving money ha ha ha. Fools are still watching the show, but wise men have already started betting, buy Marine Admiral to win. Come on, give me 200 million berry to buy Aokiji to win. In the depths of a certain island in New World, in the new headquarters of the World News Agency, all employees are busy. In front of the president, Morgans, several large screens were opened. On all the screens, Acedes versus Aokiji is being broadcast live. Sibel, you've done a good job again this time. Listening to the reports from the secretary of the president from time to time, he was full of hope. This time, with the help of world government, our world economic news will set a new record. And at this moment, a phone bug above his desk rang, interrupting his excitement. Huh. Sibel. Morgans was a little curious about why Sibel didn't continue to host the live broadcast, but called himself at a critical moment. However, after he finished listening, he was stunned. You let me buy 100 million berry seeds to win. 1 billion berry to tie. He couldn't believe it, and hurriedly asked again to confirm. That's right boss. This is Mr. Lin's request. Boss, wait a moment, I will let Mr. Lin speak to you. She be hooked up with Lin. Hello, Mr. Morgans. Lin was in an inexplicable mood when she took Sibel's call. Morgans, but one of the dark giants underground in the new world, has energy that is difficult for ordinary people to match. When you talk to someone for the first time, you will naturally be a little curious. Of course, he is talking to the other party this time to make money, and he really has no interest in meeting them. Mr. Lin, hello. Morgans greeted him, and just wanted to say a few words of compliment, but Lin didn't give him this chance. Mr. Morgans, time is urgent, you bet me first, and then we will talk. Then, Lin hung up the phone. Morgans over there was a little depressed. I am a dark giant of the underground world, and I end up betting on Lin's errands for you. That's all. Thinking of the new value of the Lin pirates that Sibel has been discovering these days, Morgans had no choice but to dial a certain number. Hello, Tezolo. In fact, Lin was also surprised. The odds of Asidus winning Aokiji reached 100 to 1, and then the two sides tied at 50 to 1, and the odds of Aokiji even dropped to 0.08 to 1. It can be seen that almost all people are not optimistic about Asidus, and they all think that Aokiji will win. The hope of Asidus draw is slim. Hey, neither look good, that's better. Then I can make a lot of money. Lin thought flatteredly. The current Asides has not only strengthened the Taigu secret skill, Mahapatmo, but also has mastered Marine 6 styles and 2-color hockey proficiently. Especially Conqueror's Hockey, she started from the elementary level gifted by Lin, and in a short period of time, she has cultivated to the ceiling of the intermediate level, which is only a thin line away from the advanced Conqueror's Hockey. And Armament Hockey is also easy intermediate. Originally, Asides possessed Admiral level combat power and now it has been strengthened a lot, so how can we lose this battle? Of course, he didn't dare to underestimate Aokiji's strength, so he bet more on a tie. Here we go. With the change of the situation ahead, Lin hastily shuddered and focused on watching the battle. Although he believes that Asidus will not lose, but what if there is an emergency? Roar. After all, Aokiji has also awakened frozen fruit, so it is possible that he has some hidden nirvana. It's okay for Asides to lose this battle, but Lin will never allow Aokiji to further reap his life. On the surface of the sea, Aokiji and Asides stood on the big icicles condensed by their own abilities. Asides. It seems that you are also an ice attribute fruit user. 
Aokiji heard the other party's self-introduction, and saw that his warship had evacuated to a safer distance, so he said coldly, let's start Acetus. Hope you won't disappoint me. Acedes licked his lips lightly, and pulled out the saber at his waist. This is how a rare and unprecedented battle kicked off. Boom. Boom. Gala. Zila. As soon as Aokiji and Acedes fought, the sea within a radius of one or two miles turned into big ice cubes, frost and snow fluttered in the sky, and the cold wind was howling. Mi Ran looked like a scene of winter coming. Ace Day, my frozen fruit, is the leader of all ice and snow devil fruits. For women, Aikuzan has always respected, so please step back and replace your captain. After probing a move, Aokiji spoke to Acedes, frowning. His frozen fruit is the highest rank among all ice and snow devil fruits. Since it is confirmed that Acedes devil fruit is also ice and snow, the victory has already been decided, so there is no need to fight any more. This Lin pirate group, let's just grab them and throw them into Impel Down. It's a bit cruel to wipe them all out under the attention of so many people. Aokiji thought to himself. What he upholds is lazy justice, which is different from Akainu's thorough justice, so it is not so heavy on killing. Of course, this is also related to the fact that the crew of Lin's ship are all beautiful women. Although Aokiji is not a sympathetic person, they were all killed on the spot. For the audience who are watching the live broadcast, this impact is indeed a bit big. 747 Moreover, arresting is more shocking than killing. Unfortunately, the following facts will tell him, you Aokiji think a little too much. At this time, Lin yelled loudly, interrupting his thoughts, Kuzan Admiral, Acedes is the new intern crew member on our ship, the bounty is zero so far, please take care of me, the show is too wolf. Question mark question mark question mark. Intern. And the bounty is zero. You sent an intern with a zero bounty to deal with my Marine Admiral. Lin Yu. For a moment, the pheasant was almost out of breath. Even if he has a good temper, he almost couldn't resist the ice age, burying everything in front of him in ice. Lin's words not only disturbed Aokiji's mentality, but even all the audience in front of the live broadcast went into an uproar. Send an intern with a zero bounty against Marine Admiral. It turned out that many people speculated that Acedes might be a master hired by Lin from outside, and he could resist Aokiji for a while. However, now that Lin said that the bounty is zero, it is true that Acedes is really a newcomer to the pirate's Betty. Fight Marine Admiral with the weakest rookie in the regiment. Almost instantly, they cursed in unison. Lin, you are so talented. Can you really make trouble? Of course, this made more people excited. This Lin's live broadcast is so interesting, the program is very effective. But at naval headquarters, everyone is raging, and they are about to explode. This Lin, unforgivable. A trainee with zero bounty. That's too much. For the sake of showing off, he will use all means. Our Marine is so breathless today, I really can't swallow it. Marshal, please allow me, the Ghost Spider, to join the operation to hunt down the Lin pirates. I, Doberman, am also applying here. If the Lin pirates are not eliminated, I will never take a vacation. Don't be impulsive. With Kuzan Admiral, they can't turn the sky. Now let them take advantage of the bitterness. Wait a minute and they will cry. Yes. You must have confidence in Kuzan Admiral's strength. The higher Lin these guys jump, the harder they fall. Let's wait and see. I think Kuzan Admiral's complexion is not good. He is famous for his good temper. Today, Lin is too outrageous, and he is pissed off. Ace Des's ability is overwhelmed by the superior frozen fruit, and Lin has to take action next. Marine executives were angry at first, and then calmed down. After all, Aokiji is impossible to defeat. Next, he will wipe out the Lin pirates. This time, Kuzan may not be able to complete the task so easily, this Acetus is very strong. But at this moment, Garp stopped eating the Senbei, and said a word that surprised even the Marine executives. Vice Admiral Garp, are you sure? Vice Admiral Garp, where did you analyze it? I think the one who is the most threatening is the one named Tsunade, after all, the power is too terrifying. I think it's still Lin, didn't Huo Shaoshan Vice Admiral say this Lin is a little Garp? Garp didn't bother to answer, but just replied, you will find out later. This Acedes is not simple, you haven't seen her freezing ability, and her activation speed is even faster than Kuzan. 
and she dared to pick up Kuzan with bare hands the ice skates and icicles on the ice show that her physical attainments are also amazing. Hiss. It seems to be true. Too fast. What is this devil fruit? This attack speed is simply a thought. Not only is the attack speed fast, but the power is also extremely terrifying. In the blink of an eye, many marine executives also noticed something was wrong. In a seed's frenzied attack immediately, his own Aokiji admiral was at a disadvantage. Not only naval headquarters was silent, but all the audience in front of the live broadcast also held their breath at this time, not daring to take a breath. None of them expected that after a seed's launched a strong attack, Aokiji, the marine admiral, would retreat steadily. He was repelled by Asides for hundreds of meters in one breath, almost unable to stabilize his body. Disgraceful this is. In the battlefield. Boom. Aokiji was blown away again. Even on the way of flying backwards, several huge water jets were broken one after another. For a while, ice slags splashed and cold smoke billowed, making Aokiji look a little embarrassed. At this time, Asides was standing in the sky with her sword in her fingers, and her light blue waist-length hair was fluttering in the wind, which made her look extremely elegant in addition to her heroic spirit. Kuzan, if you don't use your true skills, I might kill you here. At this moment, Asita's voice turned cold. Don't look at her acting like a little woman to please Lin, but in her eyes, the whole world is just such a precious Lin. As for the others, in her eyes, they are like ants that can be crushed to death when following. Maybe members of the Lin pirates are barely an exception. Especially what Aokiji said earlier about high-level fruit and low-level fruit made her very angry. So, she wants to prove one thing here today, the appearance of the demon god, the quintessence of the demon, is absolutely superior to the frozen fruit. In summary, what happened to killing you Aokiji? As soon as Asides said this, all the audience watching the live broadcast gasped again. You, an intern with zero bounty, dared to kill Marine Admiral on the spot. What arrogance. What ignorance. However, the situation on the field made them faintly feel, Asid's words were not aimless. If Aokiji is suppressed like this, anything can happen. But one thing is obvious, Aokiji's frozen fruit does not seem to be the top fruit ability of Asid's. Because Asid's ability to control ice seems to be stronger than Aokiji's first line. How can it be? How can an intern on a supernova ship be better than Marine Admiral? The absurdity of the absurd. For a while, those gamblers who won with Aokiji even shouted and cursed. Is this Marine Admiral releasing water? The water is too deep, isn't it? Even Marine Admiral is here to cheat money. It's too dark. There's definitely something wrong with this matchup. It's no wonder that Morgans and the world government have opened up all the live broadcast resources. It turns out that the two parties are planning to join forces to make a lot of money. No wonder that Lin's performance is so poor. It's so grandstanding, I managed to earn 200 million berry in a few years, and now it's all in vain. This rubbish Aokiji or something, don't let me see you in New World in the future. Otherwise I will see you and hit you once. Don't worry about it, you can beat Marine Admiral, and you will be the fifth emperor of the sea long ago. You might as well find this Lin's fault easier. You're right. This Lin had better not come to New World for me to meet, or I'll hit him once. This Lin's bounty is already 1.3 billion. If this Asidus can stop Marine Admiral this time, his bounty may be comparable to that of the four emperors. Are you sure you can beat the bounty of only 80 million? Just kidding, you guys are here to tear me down, right? First can't beat Marine Admiral and Lin, and I can't beat you. You eat my big sword. The speed of his rise is too fast. If I remember correctly, he was a little pirate with tens of millions more than a month ago. For a while, there was a lot of discussion, but everyone's eyeballs were firmly locked by the live broadcast, and they would feel extravagant even if they blinked. Many people also used video phone bugs to record today's live broadcast. After all, admiral-level battles do not mean that there are always ones, but this is an excellent opportunity to observe. Maybe, you can find a minister in it who will make you stronger. However, when they noticed what was happening on Lin's side, they got a little overwhelmed. They never imagined that Lin is actually playing Mahjong at the opening stage. What's more, those who don't play Mahjong are all lying on specially raised beach chairs, equipped with fruit juice sunglasses, and look like they are watching the game leisurely. 
is that human being. Your interns are fighting against Marine's highest combat power, aren't they? You guys are playing mahjong and basking in the sun, completely indifferent. No concern at all. Anyone. Wanokuni, in the palace on the top floor of Oni Island, is also broadcasting the decisive battle between Aokiji and Aseeds live through the video phone bug. Ha 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 ha. I like this Lin so much. If he comes to New World, I must try my best to recruit him. How can such a talent not become my subordinate? An extremely tall and burly man in leather pants with dragon horns and long beards, a dragon scale tattoo on his left arm, and purple fluffy skin, said while drinking and laughing. Emperor of the Sea, Kaido of the Beasts. My Lord Governor, I think you are interested in his ability to play with Marine. If this Asidus can really be on par with Kuzan, then when the Lin pirates enter New World, they may become the existence to crusade as for the throne of the Emperor of the Sea. I'm afraid they won't be persuaded by you to join us. On the other hand, the tall man wrapped in a special black suit and with a pair of black wings broke his mind. Beasts Pirates Big Sign, the first of the three plagues, Jin. Everything is good. This boring world needs such people to come out and stir it up. Kaido was noncommittal, still drinking heavily. Lin boy, don't die too fast, I hope you can bring me happiness again. Otherwise, I can't help but destroy this world. Somewhere in the new world. A big ship with a red dragon head is moving fast. At this time on the deck, most of the crew of the ship are also watching the live broadcast of Lin Pirates vs Aokiji. Haha, <laughs> this Lin is such a jerk. A red-haired man with three standing long scars on his left eye, a short stubble, couldn't help laughing and cursing. Emperor of the Sea, Red Hair Shanks. At this time, a man next to him with long hair tied into a ponytail and a bang hanging down his forehead, who was smoking a cigarette, answered, it's a pity that the girl named Ma Yin didn't make a move. The non-stop continuous shooting technique last time is truly amazing. Excellent, and the special firearm in her hand, I like it so much. Lieutenant of the Red Hair Pirates, Ben Beckman. Well, Tsunade, who smashed the iceberg with a punch last time, is said to be just their ship's doctor, plus the strength of today's Asidus and Lin pirates, it is enough to challenge every emperor of the sea. It is also possible to become the next the possibility of a sea emperor. If such a force enters the new world, it will definitely set off a huge wave and the fragile balance will be broken. Redhead Shanks said, frowning. So, you're hoping that Kuzan will kill them in the first half of the Grand Line. Ben Beckman exhaled a circle of smoke. It doesn't matter, anyway, this sea won't be quiet for long. It's possible to run away at any time. Lin, it's just one of many gunpowder leads. Boom. Phew. Phew. It was another fierce confrontation, as Seeds and Aokiji both flew upside down tens of meters to stabilize their bodies. At this time, both of them were panting heavily, and it was obvious that their physical strength was exhausted. However, it seems to be another evenly matched confrontation. So far, the two of them have fought for hundreds of rounds. Moreover, the aftermath of the battle between the two expanded the frozen sea into an island with a radius of more than 10 miles, 2 to 300 meters thick, and icebergs and icicles everywhere. Aokiji squinted at Asidus, his usual indifferent expression was finally gone. And some are just shocked and surprised. He is very clear now, Asidus's fruit ability is not his inferior existence at all. And in terms of ability release, he is obviously better than himself. This made him have a very strong premonition. This fight, he probably won't win. Except extraordinary. Unless. Unless you use the awakening power of frozen fruit. Aokiji took a deep breath. At this time, he was very troubled in his heart. The awakening power of frozen fruit is his last whole card. But now there are hundreds of millions of viewers all over the world watching this battle. Among them, there should be quite a few Zeons from New World. Due to Morgan's reasons, Aokiji suspected that the four sea emperors might be watching the live broadcast this time. Then, he just released his whole cards like this. Let the enemy record it and study it. However, if you don't use your whole cards, you can't help a seeds. At that time, the face of Marine and the world government will be taken away by me. What happened to Eni's lobby last time, the world government was already extremely embarrassing, plus this time. Aokiji got a headache just thinking about it. Aokiji cursed secretly. 
This kind of entangled scene, he has not encountered, 790, for a long time. That's all. In a moment, he broke his heart. Dumb. As if something had been opened, an inexplicable deep and crisp sound resounded through the sky. It's like the shackles are being opened, and it's like the tiger's cage has been opened, and it's more like the raging magma has lost its suppression. Gala. Zila. Half of Aokiji's face also began to turn into ice elements. At this time, his body was more like composed of thick cold smoke and crystal clear ice. What's even more frightening is that there is a terrifying chill that is rapidly spreading around his body. Even the frost floating in the sky was turned into spider web-like icicles by the cold air. The kingdom of ice and snow is forming in an instant. This extreme cold power is on two levels compared to the previous one. It won't be assimilated and utilized by my demonic essence, there isn't even a single bit of it. On the contrary, its power is extremely condensed, and at its core, there are things like rules. Such eternal power, if not consumed by the same power, it can exist in the world for ten years, or even decades. This should be the awakening power of devil fruit that Lin mentioned, and the unique eternal characteristic of Logia. It is indeed Marine Admiral. Seeing Aokiji's true, and launching the awakening power of devil fruit, Asides also stood up. The time to decide the outcome is finally coming. Freezing awakening ice dust escape. Aokiji's hand melted into a cold and sharp ice blade, and then disappeared in a flash. What a speed. My eyes can't catch it. Asidus was taken aback. Her original speed was already very strong, and after getting Marine 6 styles, she went up to a higher level. I was able to keep up with Aokiji's speed before, but now, I can't keep up at all. Chila. Clang. The next moment, a knife came from behind her. No matter how fast her battle response was, and how timely armament hockey covered her, there was still a cloud of snowflakes splashing out from her back. And the most terrible thing is that the other party cut her with a knife, but she couldn't even touch the other party's clothes Kakuzu. Yes, Aokiji disappeared again. There is no chance of counterattack. PFF. In the next second, Aokiji's ice blade stabbed out from the right side again. It stabbed her right arm. With Armament Haki's support and Aokiji's one-hit escape, the wounds were not serious both times, but this made Asides very unhappy. Moreover, she also understood why the other party wanted such guerrilla warfare. Every time she is injured, an indelible and repelling force of extreme cold will invade from the wound, bringing a terrible bone-chilling cold, making the body tissues in that place feel numb and obscure, and gradually become dull. If this goes on like this, if I only need to get hit a few more times, I may fall into an absolute disadvantage, and it will be difficult to come back. Mahapadma. So she no longer hesitated, and immediately displayed the nirvana of the essence of the devil. Laugh. Burn. A blue radiance takes a seeds as the origin point, and instantly spreads to this world. Wherever the light blue brilliance goes, the cold wind, snow and frost, and everything that responds to it, freezes. As if time stopped. And at this moment, Lin and Marine, who were far away from the battlefield, were filming the scene. It just captured that the world suddenly darkened, and it seemed to be shrouded in a layer of light blue light. Everything inside seemed to be dark. Fade away. Mahapadmo. It seems that Asides and this Kuzan have no reservations to decide the winner. Lin pulled out the black knife autumn water, concentrated on it, and was ready to make a move at any time. Inside the Mahapadama space, Asides looked at the skate that was about to pierce his heart, and frowned. It was only after time and space were frozen that she figured out what Aokiji's style of play was all about. It turned out that after being extremely elementalized, he then used the power of extreme cold to erupt earlier, causing the ubiquitous black ice to act as a springboard, thus the speed at which near-flat teleportation occurs. Dad. At this time, the entire space shrouded by Mahapadma suddenly felt a little unstable. I don't know how many trillions of tiny blue and white ice points are flickering, shaking this frozen space-time. Logia's indestructible power after awakening is too tricky. Fortunately, my Mahapadma has also been strengthened, otherwise I really can't do anything to you today. Killing intent appeared in Asid's eyes, and she raised the knife and cut off the arm that was holding the skate and protruding from the ice next to her. For this cut, she used armament hockey. I don't know if I can hurt the extremely elemental Aokiji. Crack. 
She even chopped that piece of ice into fine powder. But it's not over yet. She suddenly jumped into the sky, snapped her fingers, and instantly condensed a super large hailstone of origin. She wants to smash this piece of ice and snow into pieces. After all, Aokiji has already arranged this piece of world as his frozen domain. If this place is not destroyed, if the fight continues, she will still be continuously weakened. As soon as the 1000 meter large origin hail came out in the sky, it immediately covered the sky and the sun, and its momentum was booming, scaring most of the audience's eyeballs out of their eyes. And Acetus, who turned lightly to the back of the origin hailstone, is a sudden click at this time. Boom. The hailstone of origin fell suddenly like a meteor, smashing hard on this mysterious ice island, smashing it into pieces, and it was about to be completely shattered in sight. But it's not over yet. Gala. The huge sound of ice condensing suddenly sounded, dense and complicated, so everyone saw another amazing scene. The fragmented Iceland was actually condensed by ice again. In the center of the new Iceland, there is a huge icicle rising rapidly. Lock on a seeds. On the top of the icicle stands Aokiji with a trace of blood at the corner of his mouth. Look at 0.1. In the Mahapadmo space, Asides used a slash with armament hockey just now, but he still hurt him. The indelible frozen field, what a trouble. Asides didn't expect the opponent to come so fast, she could only activate the skill pale giant mouth and greet the opponent with thousands of ice thorns with armament hockey. Whoosh whoosh. Tuck tuck tuck. Boom. Countless ice cubes and snow fog exploded, like a huge ice flower blooming in midair. The two took the opportunity to hit each other with all their strength, and then flew upside down and separated. Okay. You have been fighting for a long time, are you tired? Are you hungry? Acedes, come back for dinner. Kuzan Admiral, do you want to join me? The best barbecue in the world. But at this moment, Lin's voice came from a distance. Those who followed the camera on Marine's side couldn't help laughing when they saw Lin's situation. It turned out that there was a barbecue pit on the bow of Lin's boat. Nakiri Arena, who was dressed in a white chef's attire, was busy, and Maine was helping. Judging from the large table covered with at least dozens of ingredients, this meal is simply not too rich. All the audience was speechless. Just now, everyone was shocked by the fight between Asides and Aokiji, feeling the power of ice between the two, saying that this is the embodiment of the world's highest combat power, very exciting. However, when the winner is about to be decided. Yu Lin calling someone back to dinner. Interrupting the duel. What's the difference between this and throwing the newly stripped groom into the cowshed overnight? Lin. From the first moment I saw him, I hated him. Don't let me see you in new world. If there is no winner because of this, what will happen to my bet? Cold salad, if there is no winner or loser, it's a civilian game. But the audience paid more attention to Acedes. I didn't expect this Acetus to block Marine Admiral, and he didn't lose the slightest bit. My god, one intern on Lin's ship is so strong. What about the others? Isn't it? That's why I always feel that in the Ennies lobby fight, Lin 14's side is hiding their strength. With such a configuration, isn't it the royal group? The proper fifth emperor of the sea. Is it possible that he will be the strongest sea emperor? What the hell are you talking about? Let's denounce this rubbish Lin. Don't you feel bad? All good orgasms are interrupted by him. Oh yes. People are killing people, why are you shouting for dinner? I have to say, this Lin is really a treasure, I laughed to death today. Ha ha ha. Today marine and world government are being played like this by this Lin, they will lose face. It's very pitiful. The world government thought it was a sure win, and even used its own resources to launch live broadcasts in more than 100 franchise countries. Oh, that's really a tragedy. Ha ha ha, why did I laugh out loud? Although Lin ran out to interrupt the climax of the decisive battle, making people almost vomit blood, but more people were still shocked by the strength of the trainee seeds. Comparable to Admiral's combat power, what does that mean? It means that Lin already has the qualifications for the royal team. Just wait for the Lin pirates to enter New World, and then win a few battles to seal the territory, and then it is almost possible to announce the birth of the fifth sea emperor. Different from the noise and excitement of other spectators, the conference hall of naval headquarters was completely silent at this moment, and a stuffy atmosphere permeated the air. 
I didn't expect this Acetus to block Kuzan with only the power of ice. Where did this monster come from? Compared to her strength, I am more curious about her identity. Report to Marshall, we don't have any information about this Acedes, and comparable to Admiral's strength, but also so beautiful, it is impossible not to find any clues. What is your investigation department doing? Let me continue to investigate. Sengoku, who was dissatisfied with the results of the investigation, finally couldn't help it, and lost his temper in a rare way. Master Marshal, we have also sought help from the CP, but there is still no result. This acid seems to come from another world, and the relevant information is blank. The person in charge of the investigation office defended profusely. Not even CP. It can only be said that this woman is very forbearing, and she is not from a franchise country. Call Kuzan immediately and ask him to cut off the live broadcast. Sengoku thought about it, and finally made a decision. Aokiji can't win, so live broadcast with a hammer. He, known as the resourceful general, was very annoyed by the frustration of falling from heaven to hell. Report to Marshal, Kuzan Admiral calls back, he wants to keep fighting. The secretary immediately brought Aokiji's response. Good. Bloody. As expected of Admiral from our headquarters. Even if we can't keep Lin and the others today. Let them know the majesty of our marine. It's best to kill some miscellaneous fish on their boat, or sink their boat, so that they can't escape happily. That's right. This. Lin dared to tease our marine, and he must pay a heavy price. Hearing that Aokiji was going to fight bloody, many marine executives boiled up again, as if they had been beaten with chicken blood. At this point, if you want to restore your reputation, there is only one way to go. Best to take out one or two crew members on Lin's ship. Look, it seems that Kuzan is not very willing. It seems that he is going to make a big move. As expected of Marine Admiral, the other party has so many people, yet they are brave enough to go up. You think he thinks, this time he is carrying the naval headquarters and the world government on his shoulders, even if he dies, he has to bite the bullet. Hey, that's all, no matter how loyal you are, you don't need to risk your own life. Over the years, there are many strong people who have escaped from Marine, such as Garp's son. That's right, even if Kuzan pats his butt and leaves Marine now, Marine should not dare to say anything, after all. He is the highest combat power, who can do nothing to get him if he wants to leave. Kuzan's move is too strong. The sea is frozen for dozens of miles, and now Lin's boat is also frozen, and he can't escape. What a spectacular scene. Logia's devil fruit is too strong. It deserves to be the strongest of the three systems. Ice Emperor, figure. Just when people thought it would come to an end, Aokiji went up, and even directly launched a big move, Ice Age. In a short period of time, the sea surface of dozens of miles around was firmly frozen. Acedes, come again. We haven't decided yet. Aokiji raised a large icicle hundreds of meters high, standing on it and shouting loudly. Snort. Acedes was about to return to the Ark, and when he heard his words, he was about to shake his sword and fight back. For a Super S combat madman like her, it is really a very uncomfortable thing to not be able to distinguish the level with her opponent. But then Lin jumped out and grabbed her. Kuzan, do you like to bully girls? You've hacked her twice, so stop pestering her. Today's live broadcast, let's go here first. Let's eat barbecue together. I have a very good quality East Blue Red wine on it. Stop making trouble, quickly remove the ice, it's not good for you to freeze my boat like this, it will damage the bottom of the boat. Lin laughed. I, I'll eat you big-headed ghost. Stop talking nonsense. Faced with this kind of deliberate hippie smile, Aokiji couldn't bear it anymore, and almost turned on the shrew mode. Are you losing face? Lin's complexion changed as soon as he said it, and he immediately pulled out the black knife, pointed at Aokiji and said coldly, If you don't give me Lin face, I will only cut you down. If you don't want to save face, just hack and chop Admiral Aokiji. Lin's words made the people following the live broadcast go into an uproar again. Although Aokiji played against Acedes, he has already consumed a lot of energy. But Marine Admiral is Marine Admiral, and you, Lin, are not Acedes. If you Lin ran slower last time, you might be an impel down by now. Hearing this, Aokiji smiled. You are very confident, but you probably won't run away this time, right? 
Asidus can't win, can't even deal with Lin. For a moment, Aokiji had an idea in his mind, wait a minute and go all out, and retreat as soon as he catches this guy. This is the only chance to turn around. Even if you can't catch it, it's okay to hurt the other party. Save some face for yourself. Kuzan Admiral, what are you talking about? My current swordsmanship is Mahak. If he sees it, he will yell out how ashamed he is. This sentence made Aokiji a little speechless, and couldn't help but bend the corner of his mouth. You guy, do you know who Mahak is? Not only was Aokiji speechless, even most of the audience thought Lin was bragging. This Lin, why is he becoming more and more like a living thing? How arrogant. Since he knows the title and name of Hakai Mahak, he should also understand, Mahak is recognized by the whole world as the world's number one swordsman. He said that even if Mahak saw his sword skills, he would be ashamed of himself. Ha ha ha, today's weather is really good. I have to say, this Lin is just like a comedian, bringing us a lot of joy. That's right. The effect of the show is really full. I sincerely suggest that he become an actor. He is not a pirate at all. Don't bury him. Kuzan, don't you think it's funny? Seeing that Aokiji didn't respond, and the corners of his mouth were still upturned, Lin raised his black knife Chushui a little bit unconvinced, and slashed at him. Aokiji was about to say something, and then he started attacking himself, trying to take down the opponent in a few seconds. I don't know. Clang. The knife that Lin cut out seems to be arbitrary, but also empty and light, and seems to be bluffing. However, when the knife fell, there was a shocking sword cry. This sword cry filled dozens of miles around, shaking everyone's eardrums, and brought a faint pain. The so-called Jianming Baili is just like this. Jianming Kangyu is second, and the slash that Lin made is the most terrifying existence. Aokiji only saw Lin swinging the knife, and a blazing flying slash locked on him. Just being locked, Aokiji felt like a thousand needles were on his body, and there was a strange feeling of acupuncture everywhere. Especially between the eyebrows, there is a tingling sensation. In his heart, there is also a strong sense of crisis erupting. This is the body's most original and fundamental response to crisis. And in the next second, Slash came to him at lightning speed. What? Aokiji's spirit almost jumped out of fear. He has never seen a Slash that can instantly erase a distance of more than a hundred meters. Isn't this kind of slashing speed too shocking? What made him feel unbelievable was the power contained in this Slash. Wherever this Slash passed, it seemed that even the space was shaking. A slash at this level of power is already at the level of a top swordsman. And in the whole world, swordsmen with the strength of top swordsmen can be counted with two hands. The strength of every top swordsman will not be inferior to that of Marine Admiral. This Lin is actually a top swordsman. So, what about that day? Was it necessary for him to escape? Is it necessary to show weakness so disregarding face? They also hide a strong player like Asidus. This kind of pretending to be a pig and eating a tiger. What are they for? An interlocking trap. Aokiji feels himself getting messy. I didn't expect that I was wrong from the beginning. And, it's so wrong. This Lin, what a terrific scheming. Boom. Lin's slash lit up half of the sky. Not only did it cut Aokiji so that it flew back, but the overflowing sword energy also shattered the big ice block that sealed the arc's motto. The tens of kilometers of sea surface that was originally frozen by ice now began to collapse rapidly after large cracks appeared. Lin's sword is determined. Break through the hundred miles of ice in the Ice Age. Kuzan Admiral. The marines above the warship in the distance couldn't help shouting. It was the first time for them to see their own Kuzan Admiral so embarrassed in front of the slash. Foo. After flying upside down for hundreds of meters, Aokiji finally stabilized his figure. At this time, most of his clothes had been destroyed by the sword energy, and he looked a bit embarrassed. And from the blood gushing out from the corner of his mouth, it can be known that his injury is worse than before. Lin's shocking sword, although he blocked it, was still injured. For a while, even the hundreds of millions of viewers in front of the live broadcast were mostly silent. What about the majesty of Marine Admiral, the Justice of King's Landing? Everyone has seen these things a lot in the media, but seeing Marine Admiral's embarrassment through the live broadcast is something that has not happened for many years. And there is. This Lin, is not lying. 
His swordsmanship has reached the point where he can injure Marine Admiral with any slash. If Lin didn't lie, then a new problem comes. Does his swordsmanship really exist in such a way that even the world's number one swordsman, Eagle Eye, would scream out of shame when he saw it? For a while, the audience felt that their brains were not enough. Today's live broadcast was two ups and downs, subverting many people's original thinking. However, there were one or two people who rose up because of this incident. Ha ha ha. Even Mahak dares to damage, this Lin is so funny. No, I, Wang's Zhao, have to call him as soon as possible. Sword idiots like Mahak should be very interested in this freshly released top swordsman. On Red Force, the red-haired Shanks watched the live broadcast, couldn't help but slapped his legs and laughed, then immediately took out the phone bug that could contact Mahak, and happily called. But the next moment, the change in the live broadcast screen made his happy smile freeze. Mahak didn't even notice that the phone bug was connected. The proverbs of the Ark. A sword slashed Admiral Aokiji, and the aftermath shattered Lin who was dozens of miles away from the ice, but he was not happy at all. At this time, he became indifferent. He pointed his sword at Aokiji in the distance and said, I, Lin, am very polite to you, and I will say good things to you. If you Kuzan is still not sensible, then don't blame me for being cruel. For the next slash, I may use my full strength, or I may use armament hockey to wrap around it. For the next slash, I may use my full strength, or I may use armament hockey to wrap around it. Lin's words made all the audience go into an uproar. What the hell? The slash that slashed Aokiji just now was really just his random attack. Although there are reasons for Aokiji's huge energy consumption, the slash that can shake the void is truly a top-notch slash. Many swordsmen who aspired to be great swordsmen shed disappointing tears on the spot. Woo, there is such a big difference between people. The slash just now was already beyond my reach, but it was only at the level of someone else's casual slash. Drawing an A can break Aokiji Admiral's Ice Age. I believe your ghosts, you bad boy. That's right. If it wasn't Marine Admiral who was knocked into the air, I can believe a little of what he says. Is there a possibility? That is, Marine Admiral is not as strong as we imagined. Look at the Lin Pirates, the pirates who still didn't know where they were in the knot more than a month ago. Now they ran out, another intern and Marine Admiral's score improved, and the captain killed Marine Admiral 053. Hey, I was shocked at first, but after hearing your explanation, I think it makes sense. Marine Admiral is very likely to have a false name, and he didn't boast so much. What are you guessing? You still have to question whether Marine Admiral is strong or not. That's a fact that many seniors have used their lives to prove. I think this may be a big conspiracy. Let us all feel that Marine Admiral is a conspiracy. My brother is wise. At that moment, first really thought Marine was good. This Marine's conscience is really bad. Do you think Mahawk, the eagle eye, will find Lin in anger when he hears what Lin said? Ha ha, wouldn't that be better? Anyway, Lin now has the support of the World Economic Society, and seems to be taking the internet celebrity route, but Mahawk finds Lin, we must have a good show. This Lin is ridiculously strong. If he doesn't brag, even if Mahak is the world's number one swordsman, I feel that Mahak may not be able to win against him. Yeah, so I have to say, if Mahak finds Lin, or if Lin finds Mahak, the fight between the two will be the greatest blessing and fortune for our Kendo fans. I guess Mahak isn't that boring, looking for a word. Stop arguing, that what Aokiji seems to be angry. Hey, Lin's words are too hurtful, I would have gone berserk. The climax of the audience is finally coming. Defeat Marine Admiral and become the Emperor of the Sea. Will we see it? Don't think about it, I've never seen anyone who achieved the title of Emperor of the Sea in the first half of the Grand Line. Those big pirates all went to New World to suppress a piece of sea area and fight for a future before they could ascend to the throne. However, among the four sea emperors, which one can be stronger than the current Lin pirates? You're so insignificant, the water in New World is too deep. Not to mention Whitebeard, the strongest man in the world, even the undead Kaido, they are obviously much stronger than this Lin. Moreover, the red-haired shanks on the ceiling of the legendary Conqueror's Hockey, can also overwhelm this Lin. Yeah, the power of the four emperors is all played out, not blown up. This Lin has yet to be tested. Stop talking nonsense, and watch it.
What's so mysterious about Lin's second cut? When our forest god no longer cuts flat, he he. Slash casually, slash seriously, slash with all your strength, and hold the knife with both hands to cut supernaturally. Could it be like this? Ha ha ha. No matter what, today's Lin's wave of pretending to be pigs and eating tigers will definitely be recorded in history. Naval Headquarters Conference Hall. Also shocked by, Bed H, Lin's shocking slash. Even Ghost Spider Vice Admiral and Doberman Vice Admiral, who have extremely superb attainments in Kendo, sighed. For a slash of this level, even my Ghost Spider has to go all out to be able to slash it, and the success rate is not very high. This Lin is already a top swordsman. In the entire Grand Line, there are no more than 10 top swordsmen. Among our Marine, there may be only one such top swordsman, and that is Pelusolino Admiral holding the Amazono sword. But, he seems to be in his 20s. I'm really speechless. Among those famous top swordsmen, which one is not in their 40s or 50s to achieve the top name? This kid is too evil. If he continues to grow like this, he will definitely be the next One Piece. Marshal Sengoku, we must concentrate our efforts to annihilate him as soon as possible. Yes. Don't hesitate anymore, Marshal Sengoku. His growth rate is really terrifying. Secondary. Their trainee, Acedes, can be evenly matched with Kuzan Admiral, plus that Tsunade, this is already a very advantageous royal team configuration. But everyone, can our naval headquarters really annihilate such a pirate group? Yeah. It can't be done without using three admirals at the same time. Now that the revolutionary army and the four emperors are about to move, how can we use the three admirals to fight a war of encirclement and annihilation? It's really a headache. In a short period of time, he has grown so terrifyingly. Maybe, he was playing tricks on us from the beginning. If justice is not enforced, it will only make me angry and irritable. After the shock was over, the conference hall was immediately like a vegetable market, full of discussions and noises. Boru Boru Bolu. But at this moment, the most important phone bug on Sengoku's desk rang. Sengoku silenced everyone, and immediately connected the phone. Quite a while. Call Iokiji, turn off the stream, and get him back. Sengoku hung up the phone, held his forehead for a while, and made a difficult decision. What? Sengoku, are you stupid? This is broadcast live all over the world. Garp was a little taken aback. Yeah, shouldn't we wait for Kuzan Admiral to take advantage of it before shutting it down? Let's forget it like this. Then we are too aggrieved. The rest of the marine executives are also a little unclear. This is an order from above. Sengoku's face darkened. I'm afraid it's too late, that Lin is going to do it. I'm afraid Kuzan will be in trouble. At this time, Garp pointed to the changes in the live broadcast and said. What? Hearing this, Sengoku and others watched the live broadcast nervously, praying in their hearts, hoping that Aokiji would not lose too badly. I have to say, what a mental journey this is. From full of confidence at the beginning, to surprise, to incomprehension, then to shock and worry, and finally even praying nervously, pinning hope on the illusory gods. Thinking about this aspect, Sengoku couldn't help crying, who knew that he would get into trouble with such a super evildoer. Had he known this, he would have let Lin go to New World as soon as possible, to compete with the four sea emperors, and let the four emperors have a headache. With Lin's second cut, the entire conference hall fell silent. The second slash, which was stronger than the previous slash, made them, like Sengoku, worried about Aokiji who obviously had no energy. Some marine executives also yelled. This Lin is too despicable. Ordinary people fight against Kuzan Admiral. What a villain. Yes. Even if Kuzan Admiral loses this time, he still loses standing up. No shame. When the two admirals, Pelusolino and Sakazuki, come back, we naval headquarters will get back for today's venue. If Lin is not an impel down, I will never rest. Doberman Vice Admiral, do you want to play so big? Yes, Lin is so strong, sooner or later he will be the fifth emperor, who can catch him then? I, I don't care. Under the attention of hundreds of millions of eyes, Lin finally made the second strike. This slash, which was far more terrifying than last time, easily pierced through the thick ice walls erected by Aokiji with his frozen fruit ability, and sent him flying tens of meters away again. Hateful. 
Ice Age. Aokiji landed on a large block of ice and got down on one knee with one hand in it. He's going to freeze the sea again and trap Lin's ship. Although he knew that he would definitely lose this time, he still wanted to struggle. After all, he seems to be carrying a lot of things right now. Even if you want to lose, you must lose decently. Clang clang clang. As his ultimate move was launched again, the power of extreme cold surge, the blue sea water instantly solidified and turned white, and within a breath, the sea surface of dozens of miles was frozen again. Not only that, there are countless sharp ice edges as thick as water tanks, which are quickly condensed from the bottom of the sea or the sea surface, rushing towards Lin's pirate ship one after another. At the same time, on every meter of ice surface for dozens of miles, there are such ice edges rushing up and extending continuously. In just two or three seconds, an Iceland made up of white ice edge forests was formed. The Ice Age 10,000 edges facing the sky. And when the ice is about to pierce the proverb of the ark. What a dead-brained fellow. Lin shook her head, stretched out her left hand and pressed. Room. Burn. The light clearing sphere cover of the operation space covers thousands of meters in an instant, covering the entire arc. As soon as the ice pierced into the clear light, the speed obviously slowed down. Baton. Lin lifted the arc up tens of meters in one breath, turning it into a flying boat temporarily. Then let Ma Yin come over, leaning over and exhorting in her ear. And he himself, in the next second, teleported to the lower part of the arc, the black knife fell horizontally and vertically, and made a huge cross cut towards dozens of sharp and cold swarms below. Boom. The violent sword energy raged in all directions, shattering the ice cubes and power in a radius of one mile below. Clear all the ice around the arc with one sword. However, Aokiji didn't stop there. Ice Age Ice Prison. At this time, he raised his right hand and shook it suddenly, and on the huge ice slabs with a height of more than 100 meters, there were smaller ice ridges extending in different directions, connecting all the huge ice ridges. Tuck tuck tuck. Gala gala. In just a second or two, he created a black ice cage tens of miles in size, and locked Lin and Fang Zhou firmly in it. In this mysterious ice cage, he used his awakened power zone. Layer upon layer of locks, layer upon layer, plus the indelible awakening power of freezing. He didn't believe that Lin could break through this mysterious ice cage with a single sword. This move also emptied his remaining physical strength, causing him to sit slumped on the ice immediately, panting heavily. Boss Garp is right. Although I am not as dependent on the fruit ability as Pelusolino, I still have to put in less effort in the cultivation of physique. In extreme combat situations, my physical strength will obviously be insufficient. Quote. Only then did he recall the warning from his idol. Today I met an evenly matched opponent, and my physical strength is obviously stronger than the opponent, but after a hard fight, it is obvious that I will not be able to fight against a second opponent of the same level. Otherwise, the ice prison will be 10%, he can use extreme elementalization to integrate into the ice prison, and use the advantage that is almost equal to teleportation to win the round. Not to mention that it can severely damage Lin, but it is definitely not difficult to destroy that arc, or capture some of Lin's crew. If I had known this, I would have started to create an ice prison. I will use my strengths to the strongest. After I go back this time, I have to strengthen my physique and train my body to a higher level. He thought so in his heart. I have to say, the lesson you taught me today, Lin, is so precious. View. But just when his mind was wandering, there was a light sound that was so slight that it was almost imperceptible. Boom. In the next second, knowing that he was not good, he quickly turned his head to look, and his expression changed. The huge ice prison locked the words of the arc tightly, and the audience who thought Aokiji had lost the game was irretrievable, stunned again. Can it still be big? It is indeed the highest combat power of Marine. This mysterious ice cage is too spectacular. If you can use such a cage to catch me, I will definitely not resist. Forget it, you only have a bounty of 2.5 million, a Marine colonel can kill you, and you still need Admiral to catch you. That's it, got Lin's gang. I don't know if it's Aokiji's last ripple. How do I feel that the firmness of this cage will be amazing, and the composition will not be ordinary ice? TCH, I still can't trap Lin. After all, his slash is so terrifying. Huh. 
that Asides tried it, and he was able to cut through the blockage of more than 10 meters, but the ice prison was restored soon. Sure enough, it's not ordinary ice. Could it be Aokiji's fruit awakening power? Haha, ha, Asides' strength is about the same as this Aokiji, if even she can't break through this ice prison, then Lin and the others will be doomed this time. Great Aokiji, the last blow was a success. End of the flowers. Lin's journey of pirates, this is the end. And the next moment, with a thin gunshot, countless live broadcast screens turned black one after another, causing the enthusiastic audience to curse angrily. World government's live broadcast has been cut off. The phone bug in charge of the live broadcast was shot and killed by Ma Yin. Not only that, the bullet that killed the phone bug also brought energy that was more terrifying than a cannonball, blowing up half of the warship into flames. Fortunately, Morgan's side, that is, the live broadcast source on Lin's ship, was fine, so a small number of people were able to continue watching. Kuzan, you are so boring, and you have no imagination. You actually used your awakened power to come up with such a sleepy thing. It's a bit low, oh no, it's very low. Very ow. I have to say, your pattern is far from my acetus. Lin held the black knife Chushui tightly, and continued to speak loudly, then. Today I will let you experience the power of Lin's full strength strike. What kind of bullshit ice cage of yours, even if you used a lot of awakening power to build it, and the strength and recovery power are extremely pervert, but in the face of the power of ultimate, it can only be as paperless. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.